I'm so sorry. <laughs> I overslept. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I had like five different alarms set for me and I slept through every single one of them. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh my god. Hi, everyone. I'm so incredibly sorry. I didn't mean to oversleep. Uh, this is what I get for staying up so late. Uh, I, 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 I feel really bad. Uh, but... I I don't even know how to pick it up from here. <laughs> There's been a lot of super chats and membership stuff th flowing in. Like, are you guys okay? I wasn't even here. <laughs> well, thank you for the good mornings, though. Hi, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Nebo shitta, gomen nasai. Uh Anyway, let's uh, <clears throat> How am I going to read dialogue and voice act when I just just woke up? That's going to be a challenge and a half. Did you have some water? Yes, yes I have a bottle of water right here. Mm. Oh my god, thank you all so much for the soup pass. I don't know why you're giving them to me. It, it, it feels like I should at least have my act together before you guys throw soup pass at me. Eat breakfast too? I ate breakfast before heading to bed. Well, from what you can call breakfast, it was more a midnight snack, really. <laughs> Oh my god, they're still coming. <laughs> Slow down, guys. I feel bad. I feel like I should at least... Like, like I said earlier, have my act together before you guys show such generosity. One second. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Let's... Let's get this back on track, shall we? <clears throat> we have a game to play. We have a story to continue. Ugh. Okay, just needed to make sure I am seated comfy. In my armrest, armrest, backrest up a little bit. Ugh. Thank you all so much for waiting. I'm so sorry once again. Ugh. Thank you all so much for all the joinings of the penmanship and for all the super chats, which I still don't understand why why you guys are throwing at me. But, oh my god, thank you very much. Let's continue, shall we? Let's get back on track with Omori. Okay. If I remember correctly last time, uh, yeah, we went through this uh, section uh, with uh, a bunch of, like, coral and whatnot, and uh, they started saying things, and the cast also started forgetting about Basil. You know, the main reason that we're here is to save him. And we also ran into a coral a giant coral that, for some reason, knows about the fact that this is a dream. It call the coral itself called it headspace. I think it also referred to Sunny himself instead of Omori, which is just really, really weird. That that that's what I remember from last time. Ohayo, Efado, Tasukaru Dai. Thank you. Yeah, just I I didn't know what else to say. 
Okay, let's see. Hello. Thank you for this super chat. Good morning, Ike. It's okay to be late. Hope you enjoy your sleep. By the way, wake up, voice Tusker. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> eh. My voice is still like in sleep mode. Ah, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> how how would I voice this dude? Uh Oh my I just realized he said a pun. He said a pun. Well, hello, friends. The name's Humphrey. Is that a pun on, like, humpback? What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Wow, my high range is non-existent. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. <clears throat> Sorry if we're bothering you. Oh, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl. A very loud girl with a big red... Bow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she? Where is she? I don't like how the music just faded out. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, yeah. That's a joke it is. <laughs> what was that? What's that laugh? She is inside me, you see. She... she's inside you? Why, yes. She's visit visiting my guests, for I'm also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It's so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they're even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Bleh. The fact that we just kind of go right in. Get in the whale, like I'm getting in the whale. Our location is just called Humphrey. Whoa, Humphrey's belly is huge. Sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it made an echo. Echo, echo, echo. Ah! Where did you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I'm inside me and all around you. Ew, this is kind of gross. It's kind of nasty, honestly. am I just here? Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. I agree. Wow, so rude. Hmm. There are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up. Does it matter? 
It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one. It's easy. Okay. Hi, I'm Humphrey. You're all access passed to Humphrey, aka Slime Girl's Lair. Strictly speaking, I'm what you would call, what you humans would call, an elevator. Unfortunately, I can only take a one appointment at a time, so you'll have to wait your turn. Though, if you can find me a slimy key card, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to make that noise. Uh. Okay. Your title says waiting for something to happen. Yes, I actually know what happens today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I overslept. Man, my title was really a self-fulfilling prophecy, wasn't it? I'm so sorry once again. That's probably an enemy, right? Yeah, that's an enemy. I think. Yeah, it is. That's kind of scary. A sn Ugh. Why a snot bubble of our things? Also, the game is kind of loud. Is this due to me turning it up when fighting Sweetheart? Probably is. Okay, let's make him more sad. Oh. Wait, this one does extra when foes are happy, so that's good. Yeah, this should do quite a bit, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. It's pretty good. And 60. Ew, that's gross. Hey, please, we won. Found a peach soda. Do I really want it, though? Uh, I hope we run into Mari somewhere near here. Hey, check this out, humans. Did you know us Humphreys are strong enough to withstand a waterfall's current? Watch this. Yikes. Except for that guy, I guess. Oh well. That's just natural selection working. Hey, you know what? I just had an idea. I bet if we gather enough Humphreys, then maybe we could use them to form a bridge to the other side. Hey, I was supposed to say that. How does that even work? I mean, I understood, I understood the others, that they were just like part of his like, body or flesh being able to stick out from the walls and floor. But what's this guy's excuse? He's just kind of floating there. Oh, per just what I wanted. Oh, yes. It's unquestionable gelatin. Would you like to eat some? Sure. Now, Mori, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself. Wow, sis. This is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like in forests or campsites. But where's the fun in that? What if I wanted to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, Omori. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. 
my god. I mean, again, we know now why she's everywhere. Mari, this gelatin is delicious. What's it made out of? I'm not sure, Cal. I've just been scooping up bleh, it off the walls and floor. Do you like it? You have... What? <laughs> just kidding. I made it by mixing fruit. And, um... Gelatin. Okay, yeah. But what's gelatin made out of? Well, Kel, gelatin. Gelatin is made out of gelatin. I see. Well, whatever. Food is food, I guess. N no, not quite. Hmm. Yeah, he can't believe his own words, I think. Mm. Okay, let's make a save here. The fact that this place is just called Humphrey. Mr. Bird? Uh, real work in progress. Do not disturb. Uh. Why are you wearing a lab coat? We Humphrey Medusa sector pride ourselves on being the best of the best. Medusa treats us well and feeds us regularly. Can't say that about Marina or Molly. Colorful potions have flask in all shapes and sizes. Oh, is this a Cal thing? God, this is so weird. Oh, we gotta f get those, don't we? For the bridge, I mean. Yeah, yeah, we do. In the belly of the beast, I, I guess. But Humphrey seems nice, though, but I'm a bit worried. I will not lie. Hey, Humphrey, you want to join your friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Of course I will. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, it's kind of gross the more you think about it. Sure, I love making bridges. That's an odd thing to like, but you know what? I'm happy for you. Oh. Is this a bait? No, it's just a beast charger. Let's go. Ike, I'm eating. I'm sorry. Okay, if that's a, what everyone else is doing. What's it doing here? Oh, you mean the cheeseburger? Yeah, that's an incri- I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Dynamite. Okay, now let's see how much damage we do with this thing.
No! Why everybody? I guess I'll just, just stab. The Bong Queen, yes, the Bong Queen returns. I actually did see. Oh my god. This freaking mimic. Uh, I saw uh, some fan art of uh, Ivy doing the girl bonk. And uh, <laughs> I don't remember who, who drew it. Uh, it was a while ago, but I remember seeing it and I just smiled to myself. It was very, very cute. Four thousand XP for that. Jesus. Share food. Ooh, is that a group heal? I hope that's a group heal. Uh, skills, hero. Hey. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Share food. Here and a friend recovers him hard. Mm. This one recovers 775. The cook is still better, in my opinion. Kind of a stick with it. So what is this? Oh my god. Another library. Wow, look at all these cool plants here. Well, at least he is having fun. Also, who brings in pla- I, I don't- I don't know. Mm, basil. Basil? That's the name of the plant here. Oh, it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of something. Oh, not this again. Why are we forgetting? But... I can't remember what. Why are they forgetting? I say that Medusa's experiment has a 14 times 7 plus 44 divided by 11 minus 2% chance of success. Okay. It's a slime bunny! I'm just gonna make him sad because I'm scared. Uh, let's use megaphone. Okay, now he's sad. Let's go. That interaction is so cute. That was easy. I found another cheeseburger. Mumbo Jumbo. Books filled with knowledge in a language you cannot read. I'm just gonna make him sad because I'm scared. Yeah! Oh, didn't mean to do that. The sad strategy is true, tied and true, tied and tested. And there it goes. Can tell <clears throat> you can do and tell Medusa is mad because she'll pace back and forth. She'll never yell at you, but still. 
pretty scary. Mm, how do I get those watermelons? According to my calculation, reading makes you smart. Ah, dang it. Uh, okay. Maybe the bunnies are okay. Spirit. Let's get that one going. And uh, let's heal Aubrey. It's cute until you what you rem until you remember what the smile thing is. Yeah. Oh, did I just make myself manic? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Whoops, it AC. I'm not going to land a single hit. Oh, they're really bringing in a bunch of different... ...status effects now. Okay, that's good. That should take that out. No, it doesn't. Oh, this is not good. Oof. Okay, mm. these didn't ruin the moods of Aubrey and Omori. That's important. Okay, that's one. I think that's enough to take that out. No, Aubrey coming in clutch. There we go. Emotional damage indeed. I don't think I've ever seen like the like the other state and like the the sad states of everybody to the maximum, like the depressed. I've seen everyone ecstatic, I think, and I've seen everybody furious. Or maybe it's enraged that's the second state, I don't remember. Wow, yes, my greatest masterpiece. Ho ho! <laughs> oh, ma, wow, yes, my greatest masterpiece! Ho ho ho! Mumbo Jumbo, indeed. I needed to put on a really bad French accent. My bad. Apologies to all French viewers everywhere. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, I don't want to deal with you. Don't want to deal with you. Can I climb? Can I not get up on... Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, you're blocking the path, aren't you? Oh well, whatever. Mm, let's just... Spirit. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. French slander is okay? No, come on. We like to have fun here. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna joke about any place, I would rather be about myself. Because I have license to do that. Go. Okay, 
Hmm? Oh, there's the bonk. And they're out. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, now we just attack this dude and collect our victory. There we are. 4,400 and a beast trigger. Let's go. I feel like we're slightly under leveled considering how easy it is to level up here. Dynamite, okay. I'm a little bit nervous about all the... the me melons I'm going close to, because... what if one of them is a mimic again? Uh, what was the globe thing? Maybe that's... Um... What? Hit? 1,000? What does that even mean? Does that, like, mean the accuracy? I mean, you can't get better than 100, right? Let's try it. Let's see how well it does. Uh, team Spirit. Annoy. Okay, let's see how well it does. Oh crap, that's not good. Team Spirit for them. Uh, and then there's this attack, I guess. Mm, that's a nice crit. Yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot, but that's because he's sad. Oh, that's a good thing. I saved him there. Here comes the bonk. Okay, pretty good hit. Hmm, I guess that's pretty good actually. That is pretty good. Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. Man, we're just power leveling here. What the heck? Bridge duty again. When do I get to eat something? You're not even like your own thing. I I don't I I shouldn't question things. It's a dream world. You mean it's a big waterfall down south? Okay, I'll race you. Okay, I think we're done here. Is that all of them that we needed? Oh, whoops. This is not where we need to go. Maybe they're still connected to the floor somehow? Maybe. Did I even go over here? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's have a heal here. Let's have another drink. 
Ah. Oh, that's the whole bridge. Nice. Please don't be a mimic. It's a melon smoothie. Melon smoothie. Okay, what kind of insides look like this? That's what I want to know. What the heck? Okay, I'm just not gonna question this. And he's just fishing. Where is all this coming from? How much is this... Is this boy eating? Um... Excuse me? I am Big Molio. You returned for finding me. I bless you with great fortune. Okay. Thanks. That's it? And we're just not gonna acknowledge that anymore? Okay. Fun. You can't beat this hand, me. I'm going all in. I'm calling your bluff. You can't fool me, me. You can't even... <laughs> Is How do you play poker against yourself? I'm reading a book about air conditioning. It's very informative. A lot of hard work goes into keeping my physique. I'm trying to look relax, but I can't stop thinking about this really interesting book. I re interesting book I read about air conditioning the other day. So do, do they both read air conditioning stuff? Why air conditioning? That's such a random thing. You know what I'm just crazy about? Air conditioning. Ain't it the greatest? Okay. Let's see. Uh, where do we go from here? What is this? Game? It's game. Match three guys for a prize. Okay. Uh, where's Cal? There we are. I love air conditioning. Yay! You got an onion ring. Cool. Let's do another one. Oh my god, why did he get deep fried? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Oh. Maybe I'll just go for the blurry ones. Wow. 
Why am I not getting the blurry? Is it just random? I think it's random. Oh well, I'll take it. Whole pizza. Say it, Ike. You don't even know what I was gonna say. Am I meant to go here? The music, though. You! Out for a swim? Me too. Out for a swim? Me too. Oh, all of them are just out for a swim. How do I get back up there? All my friends left me behind to build a bridge. But I'm gonna show them that, uh, by, uh, show them up by building an even bigger bridge. If you see any Humphreys floating around, be sure to send them my way. Okay. Humphrey, could you please help us make a bridge? A bridge, you say? I'm already there. Okay. That's how it works, I guess. You want to use me as a stepping stone to further your ambitious agenda? Sounds like a plan. I like that whenever we run into any of the keys, you guys just go and start <laughs> writing that in chat. How do they control the boat? There's no wind. Friendship. Is it bridge o'clock already? Time really flies, huh? Finally, my time has come. Humphrey Bridges, bridge expert. Uh, how do I get out of here? How do I get back up there? Oh, it's this way. <sighs> okay, so what way did we go this time? Last time? I guess we go right here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we go left now. Bonk. How do we get to the U one? Welcome to the penmanship. Humphrey Elevators, F Elevator Expert? Elevators are better than bridges, but I suppose I'll play along for now. Well, all right. Excuse me if I'm yawning a lot. A voice whale once said, You okay? <laughs> okay, that's the whole bridge, but I do want to get that you. struck me how crap my voice is in the morning. There's like nothing I can do with it. <laughs> I 
guess, left? Yeah, there it is. I would really appreciate it if you guys could wrap this up pretty soon. No rush. I just think I'm getting kind of sick. You. You! Okay, where do we go now? Voice Tuscan. <laughs> Thanks? Oh, I was supposed to... <sighs> I was supposed to take the bridge. Oh, I took the wrong one. Oh well, whatever. This is a melon. Wait, do I need to build a second bridge? No, never mind. Okay, progress! All this slime is starting to become a real hazard. You should really start thinking about hiring one of those cleaning Humphreys from Molly Sector. Medusa and her sisters have been researching the world for centuries. These books are the fruits of their labor. <sighs> Listen to them having fun up there. Those part-timers got it easy. No matter how many times I do this experiment, it never turns out how it's supposed to. Guess it's time to refer back to the manual. Why do all of these seem like sentient in their own right? Except for this one. <laughs> Confetti. Next are the letters Q and E because you're a Q. Shouldn't it be Q and T though? Because you're your cutie. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Q E. Is it because I already have T? Let's do this. You guys didn't hear anything. <laughs> Shut up, messenger. My, it smells absolutely horrendous in here. How much longer is this gonna take? My nose is quite sensitive, you know. You will get used to the smell. No hush, doll. I'm working. And it is done. Uh, finally! Hello, my perfect suitor. Wake up! Don't touch the glass, you buffoon. You'll ruin the experiment. Well, I never! Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh, it became a heart. What happened? My word. 
This experiment has turned out greater than I had expected. Take a look, doll. Oh my god, my throat is so dry. Hmm. There's two of them. I'm not a fan of this. Behold. An absolutely perfect version of yourself. Why do I feel like she's not gonna like that? Hmm. I don't like her. What did you say? H have I heard you correctly? But she is everything that you asked for and more. Oh, you a simpleton. There's nothing more perfect than me. But I see that you do not understand that. You are nothing more than a hack. This was a humongous waste of my time. I'm storming off. Oh. Oh, I've had enough of your nonsense. Client or not, you've really struck my last nerve. Who taught you to run your mouth like that? Now, if you'll excuse me, this is a waste of my precious energy. I have much more important matters to attend to. Don't you dare walk off first. I'm the one who's supposed to storm off. Oh, well, that's lovely. Oh. How do I get down there? I don't think I can. <sighs> okay, so that's still going. I need a slimy key card. Okay, I guess I need to go down every single path. We've done right. Let's do up. I, I'm gonna be honest, I never thought we would see uh, Sweetheart again. Because, I don't know, it just seems like that chapter was done and over with. Guess I was sorely mistaken. Also, why is the color different here? Oh my god. Okay. This is kind of nasty. Ah, strange growth. Ah, ah. gen regenerate after being smashed. If there's one thing about my voice being scratchy is that I can at least do that. Conveniently transform into a bridge after being smashed. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. Welcome. Marina is not currently seeing anyone right now. But if you're enjoying the exhibit, feel free to crawl into a cage and wait for the next available appointment. You will know when the screaming stops. Oh god. Telephone calls up the wazoo. A book in a language you cannot read. Pages of research written in a language you cannot read. That's a wormhole. Okay, so can't break that. I'm Marina's first experiment. She made me out of sand and fruit when she was just a baby. Fuchsia did a cartwheel. A box filled with goo. An ordinary houseplant. Its leaves are hard and brittle. What in the... This guy. I'm Marina's second experiment. She made me out of clay and rocks when she was just a baby. 
pet. Hmm, petting is cool, but I like handshakes better. Oh, that's an enemy. Okay, let's make ourselves sad. Actually, you know what? Let's be smart about this. Instead of making ourselves sad, let's make Aubrey sad. See, this should hurt more. It didn't hurt a whole lot. I hoped it would hurt more. Sprout Mole? tends to hurt, right? Ah! Oh my god. <sighs> that stretch felt really good. I needed that. That wasn't even a whole lot of experience. Oh well, we got the levels. Rally, what does Rally do? Kel becomes happy. Kel's friends recover some energy and juice. Ah. A microscope. This is a mimic, isn't it? I know it is, but I want it anyway. Okay, it's sad. Let's make ourselves angry. Yeah, megaphone. Okay, thanks. Here comes the bonk. Nice. Here with the clutch, maybe? Not quite. What? Why does it... Why is it helping us? No, I mean, I'm not complaining. Give us 3,000 experience. Uh, okay, Aubrey again. You guys didn't hear that. I hope you guys didn't hear that. I didn't hear anything. Good. Good. Did your stomach grumble? No. Oh my god. What is... Who are you? Oh, it's a lab rat. I'm so glad that I have a noise gate. I ha I'm so glad that I have a noise gate. Spirit. Noi. There we are. Are you hungry, Ike? Maybe a little bit. Everybody keeps doing like a consistent hundred damage. That hurts. Uh, let's annoy the other one. My god, my stomach. Please, calm yourself.
Oh, this is gonna be good. This is good. This is good. So then we look at Amori. Thank you for the strawberries in case I'm hungry. Okay, that should be enough, right? No, it isn't. Wow. Some tanky boys. And Cal's toast again. Some things never change. I'm just gonna guard. Because I want him to have the experience. There we are. Oh wow, it wasn't even close. There it is, and look at Amori. Just in case this isn't enough. No, it is. It is, it is, it is. Gucci, Gucci. Get yourself some caviar toast. Maybe later, maybe later. Beat down. Attacks a foe three times. Ooh, that's kind of good. Maybe I'll swap mood record for that. Who are you? I'm Marina's third experiment. She made me out of a rubber glove when she was just a toddler. Pet. Who did that? Show yourselves. Okay. Plans for a successful experiment. This looks like <laughs> this looks like Pepe Silva's uh, that them you know the Pepe Silva scene. Mm. He sounded like you, Ike. Okay, I cannot squeak that high unless I'm stretching. Uh, like, I don't understand uh, people like um, Mista and I guess to some extent uh, Shoto as well. That they can like, like when they get scared, they can like screech into, in into like the really high registers. I can't do that. It, it sounds, it just hurts if I do that. I, say, I, I think when I panic and I, I scream way lower. Well, hello there, Aubrey. Looking cute today. You always take such good care of your hair. So, do you need me to help it with anything? All it costs is your love. Did you say anything different to Amori? No, it's the same thing. It's a picnic. Phasmophobia flashback. Yeah, but that's still not as high as some of the screeches that I've heard out of Mista. Dang, what happened here? This place is a huge mess. <laughs> All the furniture look really dusty. It's probably been like this for a while. <laughs> Looks like it used to be an office or something. Wasn't it supposed to be... A lair full of sea witches? None of this stuff looks witchy at all. I mean, we are basing this off of Sweetheart sources. I don't know if I would trust Sweetheart, much less her sources. We gotta stop Sweetheart. She's definitely up to no good. <laughs> we do? I mean, uh can always mind her own business. Oh? Is that what we're doing now? Protecting the world from evil? How fun! What does protecting the world from evil have to do with Sweetheart? Have you met her? She is evil! Fair point. Well, I guess somebody gotta do it.
Marty is a little bit scary. She kind of has that, like, be care very careful what you say next kind of energy. I get down there now again. Do I gonna like? Oh, it is like that. What do you mean, like me? Oh, he's just kind of vibing there. You guys are mean. Whole chicken. A whole freaking chicken. Oh my god, it's a cyborg. Fulger? See, it's not just me. It's not just me. Uh, let's do a f that one so we can do a follow up. Cal, and then once it's Hero's turn, call Aubrey. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. Nice. And it's an even enough. Let's go. It's even enough. Nice. We're getting those levels. I wonder if we can get ourselves to 30 before the next boss fight. That would be good. I'm Marina's fourth experiment. She made me out of dirty apples when she was just a child. Pet. Did you, did you guys hear those whispers? I wasn't the only one that heard those whispers, right? Weird. Bzz, oh yeah. Bzz. Mm, right behind the stamp. Welcome to the penmanship. I'm Marina's fifth experiment. She made me out of cardboard and candy when she was just a child. Pet. It feels good to be acknowledged. Happy to happy to do it for you, man. Plans for a failed experiment. Peev. I'm Marina's sixth experiment. She made me out of balloons and magic when she was just a teenager. Pet. My dude just ascended. <laughs> okay. Sully. I'm Marina's seventh experiment. Though the numbers do get muddy at this point. She made me out of birds when she was just a teenager. It's pet. <coughs> this contributes to my abounding happiness. I'm glad to hear it. Waste. 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 Air horn. Okay. Uh, where's a bridge I can hit? Oh, right. There we are. Bonk. 
Very nice. I wonder how long this section is because I don't... Th uh, the previous section with, like, Mr... What was his name? Joss... Jossum, maybe? Jossum wasn't that long compared to some of the other ones. I mean, Sweetheart's Castle probably was the longest one that I remember. Oh, he's already angry. Let's go. Pasto Mori. Nice. Oh, wow. That was easy. <laughs> easy 2600. What the heck is happening here? I saw that. It's a flower crown. Oh no. All the flowers are bruised up. It looks kind of familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. Do you think we should try and return it to them? This flower crown is in pretty bad condition. I don't think anyone would want something like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. What did you do that for? It's fine. You heard what Hero said. No one would want something as bruised up as that. But... It used to belong to someone. Kicking it off the cliff is just mean. Huh? Why? Flowers grow back anyway, don't they? Alright. Calm down, you two. Kel, apologize to Aubrey. Fine. Sorry, Aubrey. Apology not accepted. Hmm. Tsundere. Oh my god, it's Futan again. I wish that Aubrey had more speed than Omori, so her uh, group cheer would uh, kick in sooner, so we can actually get a happy, happily charged attack. Okay, she's angry. I had to. Okay. This should, shouldn't be too bad. And we're, we win. I'll just attack again for the heck of it. Mm. This battle BGM is a banger. I agree, but it's a little bit scary compared to the other ones. 28, 29. Omori's all, almost at 30. That's nice. Thank you, Slack. Oh, he just walks around it. And team Spirit. Noi. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate. And let's see, homemade jam. And I whiffed it. Oh, crit? Is that enough? No. Okay, that should be alright. Nice! What even is the background? It's like a lab of sorts? Okay. Mesmerize? Is that like a better smile, maybe? Uh, mesmerize. Axford? Uh, all foes target here for one turn. Takes less damage. Oh, okay. It's like... Mm. Office apps ASMR. Can't wait for Microsoft Teams. I don't even know what that sounds like. What is this? What the heck is that? What is that yellow cat keep showing up? Is that meant to be Miwo? Rah! Brain a 667th experiment. Rah! Caution! Do not poke the glass! Okay. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that's great, that... Oh my god, what the heck? I need to go for the smiley one. Okay, nice. Wait. T. Two keys left. Oh my god! Only two left. Holy crap. Two left. Oh my! I did, did not think that was gonna happen. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm just gonna... keep going. God, why is this a thing? Oh, and I don't I don't have Aubrey. The fact that it doesn't stop in the middle of the menus. I like the spot. Okay, good for you. Heartstring, sure. Let me get this. Blender. Oh, you are... H-E-L-L-O-I-A-M-T-H-E-S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G-B-E-E. -E -E. 
E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E That's such a mean thing. That's such a mean thing to put there. Poor Kel. Okay, I'm just gonna run super fast, far away from this thing. Still want these though. Got a blender, got refresh. Don't touch the spelling bee. Are we still not away from it? Oh, do we gotta fight it? Duty has been fulfilled. Wait, so what would have happened if we didn't save him? What? The fact that that came back is really, really cool. What would have happened if we didn't save him? Would I have actually had to fight? Did I just dodge a fight? This place is disgusting. What exactly is it that you do here? That's not your business, lady. Just sit back and relax. Ugh. I feel nauseous. Um, uh, oops. Well, uh, that'll do, I guess. All right, it's done. Here you go, lady. One perfect suitor coming right up. Oh my god. Say hello to your new soulmate. Mutant heart. Oh. Is this some kind of joke? What do you take me for? I am ten times, no, a hundred times more beautiful than this Thing. You've disappointed me greatly. I am storming off. Hey, what the heck? You can't just storm off, lady. Where's my money? She was gonna pay these people? Okay, just one of them left. Oh, now it's blue. <laughs> Where's the money, Lebowski? I think it's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something extra special for you today. <laughs> As you know, I am a very busy person. But alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room. If you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is.
Wait, Alira? Is Alira here? Oh no, it's because the hairstyle. Oh my god, all the tusk cutters. Jesus Christ, you guys, are you good? I am preparing the uh, entrance for exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. You should come back later. Hey, like tomorrow later. Type puzzle. Theme memorization. Difficulty hard. Do you want to activate this puzzle? You cannot choose another puzzle until it is solved. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should check down here first. Let's see if there's a solution. Ooh. A floating mirror. Your friend smiled warmly behind you. No. Okay, blue, red, green. Oh, she doesn't even have new dialogue. I guess there's just like a lot of save points down here. Let's get the picnic at least. You guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid of the bomb is going to explode? Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. This room's, a f the room's full of the smartest people I know. That doesn't make me feel better at all. The lady on the screen said it's set up for her sister, right? She wouldn't let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? Uh, huh? Oh, I think you should... Do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. You're welcome. No. Makes me really sad seeing how kind and gentle Mari is to everybody and how everybody clearly cares a lot about her. Uh, there's a bot. Let me take care of that. Be gone. Okay, let's see what this puzzle is. this thing? What? Huh? I get it. Ah, uh, finally, a room without a waterfall. This bright light is perfect for my summer tan. What? Two. Oh, I get it. Easy peasy.
Oh my god, what is that thing in the middle? <sighs> Type puzzle, status solved. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go save. Just to be sure, huh? Oh, last bit of water before I need a refill. Oh. <clears throat> Under construction? Okay. Uh, where do I go then? Is it because I spoke to the red one? Difficulty easy. Do you want to activate this puzzle? Welcome to the penmanship. Okay. They said this one is easy. Unless that's like a joke. I'm work in progress. It stirs sparingly. See, thank you very much for the soup. Um. I'll read all of them at the end of the stream. Ah, of course. The calculations are so simple when you put it that way. Are you sure? So if I multiply the result, subtract by infinity, and divide by zero, and carry the one, that will bring me to... An imaginary number. It's tough to get any actual work around here since Molly is always messing with her research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's quadrant. That's where they assign all the work hard, play hard types. I hear they even make a water slide. Or have a water slide. Oh my god, math. Yeah, the true horror. The scariest thing we have seen so far. Welcome to the penmanship. Sweep, sweep, sweep. One. I can't believe I signed... <laughs> I can't believe I signed up for this. Me either, dude. Greetings, visitors. Would you like to see something cool? This machine here can perform remote teleportation. With the power of modern technology, I can send this sprout mole to the other side of the grid. Take a look. What? An error? Someone must have messed with the program. Uh, it was probably Molly again. She always pulls stunts like this. Okay. This is pretty self-explanatory. to go. Uh, okay. Hey there, visitors. I've been leading an experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey movement. You just come in time to watch us conduct the final test. Hi. Are you ready, gang? Let's do this just like we practice. What? This... This wasn't in my plans. Where did everybody go? An unfinished bag of potato chips. Nuclear waste. You know... Just your average thing that you would find inside a whale.
else it works for us. So far left for that one. Bottom middle on that one. Hmm. Oof. Ugh. Mm. Huh? Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Can't you see that I'm busy? Actually, I just got an idea. On second thought, why don't you kids try running through these metal plates for me? I just want to test something. Welcome to the penmanship. Why don't, why don't you discuss it amongst yourself and vote? Who should help Humphrey? Um, you think Hero would be the best option? Leave this to me. Besides, I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh my god. Poor hero. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew one of these spikes were broken. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I would sip it. Thanks for voluntarily risking your life. Well, I guess now I gotta fix it. Jesus. I'm so sorry, hero. Okay, so far right. It's like far left, middle down, far right, no. Middle left, middle down, middle right. Ah, oh, hello visitors. After months upon months of hard work and toil, I've successfully created the first ever Humphrey hologram machine. Don't they look just like the real thing? I couldn't be more proud. Molly told me if I stand here. Molly told me to stand here, but I don't know why. Okay, so it's always the middle one. This like Hi. It is left down right up. You got this. Show this puzzle who's boss. Yay. Oh no, the, the chat crashed. Hold on a second. There we are. Welcome back, guys. We crashed into something? No, sometimes the, the chat just crashes for some reason. Thank you, Shippo-san, for the super chat. Okay, Mina. Type puzzle. Theme multiple choice. Difficulty medium. There's a yeah. Th there's a lot of uh, yawns today. Wait, is this it? No. I don't have the password. Oh. A mailbox? Hey, it's these guys again. Work your magic, hero. <clears throat> Greetings, sir conveyor bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please aid us? Mm, mm, nice person. Get lost. Huh? 
That's strange. That worked so well before. Don't be so down, hero. He's probably just got his gears all mixed up or something. Could you say that any louder? No, he's gonna get even more mad at us. Hey, Scrap Heap! You'll turn those belts around for us, won't ya? Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Rude person. Hehe. <laughs> Just like Molly. Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm pretty good at this charm thing, too. Uh. Oh, it's another mimic. They're all a bunch of M's. And megaphone. Oh. Why does it heal us? I don't get it. I enjoy this interaction so much, that's why I keep using it, I'm sorry. Is that enough? Yes, it is. A watermelon juice. Fine. What even is that? Worm bot. Team spirit. And annoy. Worm bot feels angry. Oh Jesus, that hurts a lot. Uh, doesn't have a lot of health, though. That's kind of good, I guess. Maybe I'll attack it. Oh, I didn't even need to. kind of cute. Hey look, this camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Cheese. Aww. We look so cute. <laughs> Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Eh, don't worry. We have loads of pictures of us, don't we? We have pictures of us? Where? But... Only when we least expect it. <sighs> Basil again. What are you talking about, Cal? Something special. About everyone living their own lives. Um, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Mm -mm. Ah, never mind. It's probably nothing. Let's keep moving forward. We gotta figure out the solution to these puzzles. That bomb could blow any second. Oh wow, that's a lot. Yay! And then just flip this one. Nice. Okay. That's everything, right?
Wait, what? Eh? What's the what's the hint? really I'm not sure oh it's such a good thing I checked before writing this M or else I would have written another B it would have been pretty bad huh this must be this must be for one of Molly's crazy puzzles again Hi, Luca. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing, man? Feels amazing, man. <laughs> oh, God. The chat just turned into a bee. She could probably do so much good for the world. I'm pretty sure you, I'm supposed to switch places with the one on your right. And when I say your right, I mean you, as in the person standing in front of me, not some hypothetical observer watching us from behind a screen fourth wall is screaming in pain I'm being <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm happy to hear that that's one of the best things that, that you can be just be you Luca being you is the best thing that you could be Ollie told us to write letters on our back and stand in this order at least I think this was the order Bees nuts. Bees. I think. Mm -mm. And then there's B. Oh, the password is boom. Well, that wasn't too bad. Woo! And we're out of here. Key card. How long is this gonna take? I don't have all day. My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished. At last. My greatest invention is complete! Oh my god. Now speak. Speak, my beautiful robot. Is this base 64? This looks like base 64. <laughs> I wonder what it says. Read it? I, I don't speak Bay 64. <laughs> well, I'll just read it as. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound right. Something must be off with the code. It's because you made me rush my work. Instead of love. 
Instead of to love, it must now be programmed to kill. Oh my god. Welcome to the Fedmanship. Hm. Don't blame this on me. She's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of finding true love has been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. Oh my god. And off she goes. Ah, I almost forgot. That girl, she owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. Yay, we got the slimy key card. Doesn't Sweetheart have space a husband? She dumped him again. Out of order? Under construction? What? How do I get out of here then? Oh yeah, the trap door. I'm an idiot. My, my, what's with all the commotion? There must be some fun activities going on downstairs. Do you want to give your slimy key card to Humphrey? Sure. I don't think I want to hold on to anything slimy. Ooh, a slimy key card. Yum, yum. So, did you want to go downstairs now? Ew, 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 ew. It's time for a boss battle. It's either gonna be... Okay. It's either gonna be a rematch with Sweetheart. I'm gonna fight against Sweetheart's clones. Or I'm gonna fight the scientists. Which one is it? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Stop right there. You can't just l leave yet, doll. We just want our payment, darling. Can't you see how upset Mariana is getting? Where's my money, lady? Give me my money! Uh-oh, it's Sweetheart and those sea witches. There's no way we're getting caught in the middle of this. Let's make a run for it. Stop right where you are, children. I must correct you, as you are sorely mistaken. We are not witches, but followers of science. It's a common mistake, I'm afraid. Humans tend to fear what they cannot understand. Besides, I think I know why people think we're witches. Hey, what are you looking at me for? That aside, we have a bigger problem on our hands. That's right. Where do you think you're going, sweetheart, darling? You owe us a big, big bag of clams. <laughs> As if you three peasants are worthy of payment. All I wanted was for you to make me a perfect match. But you've all managed to fail me in three different ways. If you're so insistent on getting your worthless clams, let these children cover the charge. Oh my god. And she just leaves us. Where do you think you're going? Humphrey! Stop her now! Oh, crap. Yoo-hoo. I'm here to report that Sweetheart has been disposed of. It's a good thing you asked. I was afraid that I wasn't gonna 
be able to hold myself back any longer. Also, this may or may not surprise you. But Sweetheart had a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero. Not a single one. Which uh, is quite unfortunate, as I'm getting a bit hungry. That wenched double-crossed us. I knew there was something fishy about her. Hmm, well, not necessarily. She did say that these children would cover the charges. Oh, yeah, huh? In that case, she definitely paid her due. Which parts of them should we sell off first? Don't be such a brute, Marina. I'm sure she meant that the kids would pay us, not that we would sell them. All right, darlings. Now be good and head over your big, big bag of clams. Huh? So, so, uh, yeah, about that. Just curious. How much does she owe you anyway? Well, let's see here. It's a consultation fee, the initial fee, the setup fee, inspection fee, service fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping and handling, grat grat gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, late payment fee. So that brings the total charge to about... One million clams. One million clams? We don't have that kind of money. Oh? Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's just too bad. Humphrey! Seal the exit! Oh boy. Tough luck, kids. You walked into the wrong whale. Someone's gonna pay for all of this. I would be, I would say desperate times call for de desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Oh, this one is too pretty to sell, isn't he, Molly? Well, I like the quiet one. He would make a great pet. Don't touch him! Let us go now, we didn't do anything wrong! Oh, feisty. <laughs> I think you're, you're li like this one, Marina. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess selling just one will do. Oh my god! H hey! Let me go! If you kids can't pay us in clams, you can pay with your arms and legs. Kel, no! Let go of me! Put me down! Put me down! Ugh. What the heck? He bit me! Welcome to the penmanship. You're joining in at a weird time. Oh, settle down, Maria. Or Marina. <laughs> it's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this, brat! Well, now, it seems that you've gotten Marina all worked up. Her little prey is biting back. Guys, it looks like we're about to have a fight or we're gonna have to fight our way out of this place. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Yes, it seems like our prey needs to be disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children some proper manners. For prey, you're way... you're all way too picky. You don't want to be sold. You don't want to be pets. You all should really learn your place. Well, whatever. That's fine with us. There's always another option. <laughs> if you're gonna keep resisting, you leave us with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll just have to... Turn you into chum instead. Oh my god. 
Anime ladies. Oh my lord. Oh boy, here we go. Are they all individual ones? No, they're one. Um, okay. Um. Ooh, this music though. Chat, behave. <laughs> Let's hope they don't do more damage than that. Hmm. Let's see if stab does much. Uh, beat down. Uh, let's use megaphone again because why not? And uh, let's smile to lower. <laughs> Hero smiling with the angry thing is never gonna cease to amuse me. Oh my god. No! Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, that does nothing. At least it ignored defense. Uh, let's try the beat down again and use megaphone. Okay, there we are. Oh my god. Oh my god. That hurt quite a bit. Okay, that's a lot better. Nice. Let's call him Mori. Nice. A heal and an extra attack. Couple with stab. Nice. And let's do the headbutt and see how much that does. And let's annoy Omori. And hero. Uh, I guess cook for Aubrey. Oh no, I should have cooked for Omori. Oh, that doesn't do a lot. Maybe we should just stick with beatdown. Hmm. You kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means? It's time to get serious! Oh, I am having so much fun. Oh, they're angry. Uh... Do I have anything to make us happy? Yeah, I do. Let's do team spirit on that and uh, let's flex and cook for Omori. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's not good. Well, at least it was before I used. Oh my god, the furious. Confetti. Nice. Let's do beat down. And yeah, let's pass to Amori. Oh my god, the damage kill! And missed too. Oh no.
Yeah, Jesus, Kel just cleaned house. Hey, Medusa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time we switch things up. Just relax, children. This one hurt a bit. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, okay, that's not good. Uh, Hero, you better have something that heals all of us. Uh, whole chicken. And I have a whole pizza. Uh, let's do the whole chicken. Oh god, that do that did a lot. Oh no, Kel, 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 no! Ah. Uh. It's always Kel, isn't it? Everything they have? Oh, crap. Oh, everything is lowered. Ugh. Let's see, um... Uh, snack. Do I have anything that recovers juice? I need juice because I do want to bring Cal back. Oh, the mood changes again. Manic! Oh, that's not good. Bring Cal back. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's do it again. Don't miss. Okay, is that it? Okay, Cal's back. Cal's back in the game. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. She's sad. It's not gonna do anything. Ah... They're almost down for the count, at least. Let's guard. Cal, you can just re attack regularly. Hero... Sure, why not? Okay, 86. Omori? No, please. Cal, 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 Cal. Okay, crit. Two crits? Hero? Ah! Oh. oh, they're... What are the odds of me being that unlucky? Come on, Cal. Nice one! You kids are a lot tougher than you look. Hmm. This is much more trouble than it's worth. <sighs> what a predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? Ooh, okay. 9,000 experience, let's go. 99 clams as well. Level 30! Exploit. Uh, do you guys mind if I get a little bit of a water refill in the meantime? My throat is a little bit parched. I'll be right back.
I return. ただいま。Okay. I also brought a maple cookie. Oh. Mmm. Come back? I don't know what that does. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Slime time is over. Oh. Excuse me. You still have maple cookies? Yeah, I'm almost out. What's wrong with us? This fight should be a piece of cake. Forget hunting. I'm not cut out for this kind of nonsense anymore. I'm just gonna stick to research from now on. Well, dolls, seems that we are all past our prime. If only we were 200 years younger. Not to alarm you all. Oh. I dropped my bottle cap. Mm. Where did it go? Ah! Hold on. Oh no! How did it end up there? That doesn't even make sense. That's behind the door. Did it face through it? <laughs> I got bottle capped. <laughs> But I'm afraid my appetite is getting much, much, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Molly, feed Humphrey some clams. Hmm? I'm sure I fed him last time. Besides, I used up all my clams on software for the last job. I'm getting hungrier. Okay, fine then. How about you, Medusa? Well, I. I wasn't expecting to feed Humphrey again so soon. If memory serves me correctly, isn't it your turn to feed him, Marina? Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. I'm pretty sure it was Medusa's turn this time. Mm. Thank you very much for the super chat. Well, well, well. It seems you all have run into a bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, I guess I'll just have to help myself. <laughs> If I were to pick voice actors for this game, I know who I would pick for Medusa. Hmm. 
What are we gonna do now? Humphrey's gonna digest everything. Hmm. Perhaps we should plan an escape? We've already expended so much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to swim with the fishes. Oh my god. Um What? Oh my god, this is nightmare fuel. Mm, seafood. Delicious. Humphrey's out of control. How are we gonna get out of here? Keep calm, everyone. Let's look for an exit. God, am I gonna be timed? Mm. Oh boy, okay. Oh my god. Oh, that is scary. Oh, that's locked. Locked as well, of course it is. Yeah, that's also locked. I guess we go back where we came from. Oh my god. I had a feeling Humphrey would turn on us. My friends, may I say you all look delicious right now. Humphrey, stop this! Haven't you eaten enough? We promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast. Time to feast. Time for you to be deceased. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? You should have thought of that before you walked into my mouth. <laughs> it's no good, guys. I don't know if there's a way out of here. Don't say that, hero. Yeah, we can't let it end like this. <laughs> oh, there's no need to struggle, children. Then again, it's always more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Now you all just sit still. And the, the preparations have already been made. Dinner is being served, and you're on the menu! Oh my god, that's nightmare fuel. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, was it fluid practice so I couldn't watch your stream from the start? I'll check out the VOD later. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you. <laughs> also, wh why are you guys post posting the knife emotes? Oh my god. This reminds me of Koro Sensei. This does kind of look like Koro Sensei, doesn't it? Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be deceased. Uh, okay, let's just make him sad. Oh my god, <laughs> the, the, the frowns. Oh, that still doesn't do a whole lot. I guess I'll wait until I get um, the release energy prompt. Actually, you know what? Let's flex. Oh, yeah. Hmm. On the bright side, because he keeps attacking twice. Oh, nice crit. That's gonna let me release energy a lot sooner. Okay, uh, let's heal Cal. 
Oh, nice crit. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh... Okay, at least he's gonna get healed. He's gonna get healed. It's Ditto, yeah. <laughs> a little, it looks a little bit like Ditto. Just a lot more terrifying. Uh, let's smile so we can lower the attack. All of a sudden, it doesn't hurt that much anymore. Huh, I wonder why. Oh yeah, it's because the attack got lowered. Okay, I'm almost at release energy. Uh, let's... Uh, cook for Kel. Nice. Okay, there, there we are. Release energy is now a thing. Okay. The final fight has just begun, but can you win if we work as one? Ew, what the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna have to sad poem first. Uh It's megaphone and then cook for Omori. And then next round we're hitting him with their release energy. It's like chewed bubblegum. Yeah, kind of. Humphrey Grande. Okay. Back in good health. That's alright. And let's cook for Aubrey. Okay. There's Cal. Omori. There we are. Okay, let's see how much this does. This should do quite a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's good. Welcome to the penmanship. We're all back at full health, too. Mmm. Some good damage. Oh, we're almost there. Let's go. Actually, let's do stabs. So we can get a crit in. Uh, beat down. Uh, I've already flexed, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's just attack with hero too. Why not? 282. Good. Just a warning. It's about to get smelly. It's time for you all to get in my belly. Christ. Welcome to the penmanship. You came in in a weird time. Oh my god, it still makes it sad. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. Oh my god. Doesn't matter how quick or how slow, the more you struggle, the deeper we go. Humphrey swallows everyone? What? I thought he already did. God, this is kind of gross. Okay, 
he's still sad, so we, at least we have that. And let's cook. We're almost at release energy. Oh god, I'm doing a lot of damage, what the hecky. You just hope that Kel doesn't bite it. Just relax. There's nothing to fear. Hey, Amori. Is it getting stuffy in here? Here we go again. Please don't knock out Kel. Okay, just 30. Just 30. That's fine. It, oh, is it just me or is it getting darker? It's absolutely getting darker. Uh, let's see, it's something that heals everybody. Let's get popcorn, why not? Okay, release energy, let's go. Okay. I feel like this might be timed if I take too many rounds. I'll just, like, immediately get game overed. Ooh, over a thousand. Good. Okay, um... Cooking meat is very fun. Should it be rare? Medium rare? Medium or well done? Why is he speaking in rhymes? At least he doesn't do a lot of damage with that thing. Oh wow, yeah, it's absolutely dark. that restores both juice and health, maybe? Oh, this gives juice to everyone. Melon smoothie. You know what? Let's use it. Okay, and Aubrey? Let's look at Amori. Let's see how much this does. Yay! Still cute. And we all get some juice back. Nice. Okay, that's fine. That's just a single attack. It's pointless to squirm. Give up, my friend. I'm afraid this cycle will never end. Here we go again. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Oh, it's so dark. He's almost dead, though. Eh, uh, beat down. Actually, Omori, skill, hack away. Aubrey, beat down. Kel, and. Oh, god, hero. Um. Something that heals everybody. It's only the pizza. I don't want to. I don't want to use that. I think it's too good. Yeah, let's just cook for Amori. Oh, nice crit! Oh, nice. Got a funny number crit. Is that it? Is it over? Feel free to struggle, cause no matter what. You'll never escape. You'll never be able to escape my gut. What the heck? Ugh. <sighs> it's no use. How will we get out of here if Humphrey keeps swallowing us? 
Omori, I'm scared. Why did we get ourselves into this mess? Don't worry, Aubrey. We'll get through this. We've gotten out of plenty sti sticky situations before. Yeah, we can't give up now. There's just gotta be a way out of here. Ew. Going somewhere? <laughs> Ew, 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 Ugh. This is actually gross. This is actually disgusting. You'll never defeat me, loser. So gross. Ooh. The fact that it almost looks like it's 3D too. Oh. Okay. 10,000 XP though. Wee! Last resort. Tickle. And Dazzle. Okay, everybody's level 30. That's nice. That's what I wanted. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, sad face. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Wait, how many? I don't think this is how digestion works. Out we go. Achievement unlocked. Well done. Blech. Well, that didn't go smoothly at all. Hmm. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. That's what I thought too, Humphrey. We got ourselves a fat dub. <laughs> <sighs> that was a close one. Yeah. Never underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. But you know what? At least we got through it together. So what do you guys want to do now? Mm, I'm not sure. Weren't we looking for something? Wait, didn't Hero mention this before too? Yeah. We were just following Sweetheart, but... That situation seemed to have resolved itself. No, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Come on, sh you should learn to relax and just enjoy yourself sometimes. I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. Why are they forgetting? I'm trying to figure that out. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe it should be obvious and I'm just not getting it. I am a little tired of worrying so much. The fattest of dubs. W for whale, I guess. One key left. Okay, that is lovely. Where's Basil? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Oh, it's this song again. Oh, 
I'm getting goosebumps from this song. I really, really like this song, especially like the whole number station thing that they put into it. You have come again to seek the truth. Do you hear those whispers? Each time your adventures may be dis... Dis... Disparate? Disparate? But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth... The truth is always the same. The path to the truth was once here, but it's been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier. Then, to a library in the ba um, banished deep underground. And after that, to an old barn on a distant planet. There's the number station, and this time, it will be in the heart of the vast, of a vast forest. No matter how many times this path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. What? So wait, this has happened before? Basil has disappeared before? And your dear sister, Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve. And each time, they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It's their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to her grave. Death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times, your friends have met with an unfortunate fate, although they are revived time and again. The most haunting stay in this world, even if only their bones remain. That... Is that why the skeletons in Sweetheart's Castle, some of them had bows? Is that different versions of Aubrey? Oh my god, that's awful. Jesus Christ. Sonny is one traumatized young kid. Jesus, even in his escapism, he can't seem to, like, come to terms with anything. The long-lost ones sink here, to the bottom of the deep well, and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again. So she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and protect. And when she does... She will leave you again and be born anew. And with the undying soul that you have cursed her with. <sighs> the souls assigned to your friends. They are fragile and must be protected. And so, they must remain asleep. Yet, the path, the path to the truth is closer your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. This again. key 
place to the other realm. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this, this journey will lead to suffering, but if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn. To the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over, or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Missing keys? Welcome to... Welcome to blank space? Oh, it's welcome to blank space. Jesus Christ. Oh, that just brings us back here. Wait, I just realized something. You and your friends feel like new. Okay, so nothing new here. Uh, let me just save here real fast. Blank space. That was the f one of the first things I saw when I opened this game. Like at the very beginning of the game, Welcome to Blank Space was one of the first things we ever saw. What? Oh, come on, why? Oh, that sucks. Is it every one of them? Yeah, well... That can't be good. <sighs> Heart of the Forest. Or close to my most precious room. That's gotta be white space, right? Why is the music different? Your sketchbook, take a look inside. Anything new here? No. Mari? It's not good. Thank you for the super chat. <sighs> Where's the last one? The piano was like making me really sad.
What am I missing? Do I not have an N? Friends are waiting for you? Um, where are we going? Hold on, hold on. Do I not have the letter M? No, I do. I, I'm missing C. Between giant pinwheels. Pinwheels, pinwheels, pinwheels. Giant pinwheels. Pinwheels. That's in the forest, right? I need to find C and I need to find N. No, wait, I have N. Hold on. Okay, I'll bring you guys then. Okay, let's go exploring. has to be these, right? Maybe not. Oh my god. Uh, maybe it's further down here. for you. Is this in? Oh my god. It's very foggy here. What else am I missing? Zero keys left. Oh, I'm an idiot. Welcome to black space. Oh, where is this now? Oh, it's Basil's house. Is this where I need to go? Jesus, what happened here? Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, that sounded awful. Let's do this. I'm having like really bad chills. It's really bad goosebumps right now. There's a hole here. Go into the hole? Sure. <clears throat> oh boy, this again. This means what I think it means. I am. Um... Wait, oh, oh my god, I just realized something awful. Whenever we leave the room with our friends, 
What do we crawl out of? Did anyone else realize that? So it is the, what I feared. I had only an inkling up until now how Mari died, but that pretty much confirms it. left with questions of why. Yay, mood whiplash. You're not running this time. Mood whiplash the game, quite. How did I voice Basil again? It's been so long. <clears throat> uh, these are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits, help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. Oh, uh, not now. Come on. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Mm. different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses sim symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called Cladiolus also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with, with, with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The Gladius reminds me of Aubrey, because she is always true to herself. Mm -hmm. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care, and can survive in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Cal. Can you water them? I did, and nothing happened. And these... these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small. Not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in another way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Sunny. That's not what you said last time. <sighs> Whenever Sunny gets a name drop in Headspace, I just kind of Like, drop everything. Yeah, it doesn't work. 
God, the fog is getting way, way worse. This is a lot longer than I remember it being. Oh my god, the trees are dying. The trees are dying. Wait, is there another key? Amori, oh, I'm scared. Let's let's go back. No, we gotta do this. I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm like really, really invested. It's a long way down. Do you wanna jump? It's a lot longer than it's usually. I've heard this before. It's Mari's theme. I swear I've heard this in somewhere in the game before. Oh, it loops, doesn't it? Curious about what the truth they keep talking about is. I guess it's something that Basil did. Because, like, the truth about Mari's death, I, f I pretty much figured out. It's, it's the flower. My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Open it. I have a feeling I know where this leads. Yeah. Welcome to Black Space. That is a lot of basils walking around. A tissue box for wiping your stars away. Now, oh, I get it. Now the keys, as in keys of a keyboard, turn into literal keys that you use to unlock things. That's really clever. That is really clever. 
Black space. Can't even speak to these. They just disappear when I... This place had changed a great deal since you were last here. Will you be able to find your way back, or will you finally lose yourself? You may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are some who still believe in you. The flower boy who is closest to the truth, whose eyes glow on eerie red. I have seen what you have done to him before, and pray that you don't find him again. Okay, let's check one of the doors. What in the hell is this? These rooms are full of broken things. But at least in here, we can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one. Did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's been more powerful than you. Or it's become more powerful than you. Okay, th this is just straight up going into Yumeniki territory. Kind of freaked out. I'm afraid something's gonna like jump at me any second. <laughs> it doesn't even let me like inspect things. It doesn't tell me what any of this is. It just leap leaves it out for me and allows me to make my own conclusion. I guess I gotta find a key in each of the doors. Whew, okay. Oh my god, the music. This is not helping. Look in the background, it says, Awa. Awa. Yee! I'm Locraticus Cat. Ask me anything. <laughs> lots and lots of little pins. A bag full of white cotton. A pair of rusty scissors. Lots and lots of little... Okay, so yeah, this is not helping. You are far away from home. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. Okay, most of this makes little to no sense. Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to. For the both of us. I guess I just gotta find those hands when I find the keys. Oh. Your sketchbook. It's just the same things, just 
No, no, this is not the same. This is not the same. What? Wait, 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 wait. Look in the- look at the right. Look at that black eye thing. There's somebody standing there in a white shirt. There's somebody standing right there. I'm not crazy, right? Uh. You know, I thought it was bad enough already with how Mari passed. But I'm starting to get really scared that it might be a lot worse than I think. <sighs> Who are you? Are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. A lot of this is probably, like, really abstract stuff I'm supposed to understand. Nothing but static. Okay. With great power comes great burden for yourself and for the people closest to you. Who are you protecting? And is it worth it? Has a flower boy lost his way? Here to save him again? Not fortunate for him. Without keys of our own, we are forced to wander endlessly here. These doors will not open for us. We are not as fortunate as you. You are here again, dreamer. To what do we owe the occasion? Are you running out of time? What in the heck is going on? Can I walk in these houses? I can ring the doorbells. We walked out of this house. Ping pong. <laughs> <clears throat> When you hid the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? Just the same for all of them. I oh, just looping. Oh, I've read this one before. <sighs> Just kind of sounds sad. 
Liar. Our world is like falling apart. I know who you are now. I honestly should have figured it out sooner. Sonny, I love you. <sighs> Sorry. Please get Please get me out of here. One second, I gotta wipe my face. Uh, I should have seen that coming and... Makes a lot more sense now. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm not saying it. I'm saying a whole lot. I'm just kind of thinking out loud at this point. Thank <sighs> you. So we got that figured out. Now we just gotta figure out what Basil's deals is. Miwa has been very, very bad. Got a key. Miwa stares at you. She does not know what is happening. Do you want to- What the No! Do I have to? Is there no other op- Can I do this instead? Oh, maybe I wasn't- Oh, I probably wasn't supposed to do that. I probably wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, I didn't even get a key. No, wait, I got it from the but butler. Oh, I hope I didn't mess anything up. 
Oh, I hope I didn't mess anything up. Oh no, there's no doors. Thank you for the super chat. We're here if it feels a bit tough. Everything will be alright. Sending virtual hugs from all of us. Thank you, Ayame. Uh, I'm, so I'm sorry, I, I just... I don't know. I feel like I should have figured out what something was a way, way in advance. I don't know. I, I was just dense. And when I saw something on top of that, like... What do you what do you even call it? Stub? Or like whatever. It's like it kinda clicked and then when it said I love you to Sunny, it just uh, it just all clicked. I couldn't die so but mm die so this Ah so like a え、さっきのシーン。あの、あの、サムシングのシーン。え、なんて言うのえ、日本語で。なんとか何者かなよくわからないですけど、語彙力はあんまり。ちょっとなんか足りない。Nanika. Ah, Nanika. Mmm, Nanika. We cry with you, Ike. Have strawberries and feel better. Thank you. Also, please don't cry. You got a flower crown. Okay. These one? Is this the be? Did we finally find him? No, 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 this isn't real. This isn't real. Oh, Mori, you came back for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Now let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Am I supposed to just keep doing that? Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back on back at home. Oh no, my chat died. Stop the matte. Okay, welcome back everyone. Okay, min minna. Chatoran kyuni ochimashita. Goenasai. Always thank you for streaming. I hope you take care of yourself. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I am. I hope you guys are taking care of yourself too. This is very heavy stuff. How are they doing? I'm really sorry. Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> I, I tried. I tried, my dude. Watermelons sure are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with all those watermelon seeds all over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? Maybe the shadow of Basil that we keep seeing. And this one used to be one. Oh, it's getting dark. And like when they are when they're separated, like this is just happy basil, and the other part is like the sad parts of basil. But you can't have one without the other. You need both to have the the true, the real basil. <gasps> okay, you're not gonna lie. 
That was a little bit shocking, but I also almost burst out laughing because this sound effect. Thank you for the super chats. Where's the key? I haven't found the key. Where's the key? Oh, that's not good. Maybe I already got it. Yeah, they wouldn't send the hands at me otherwise. I already got it. I must have. I want to check this more. What is this? Okay. What even is this? Don't talk to me. Okay. I guess these are photographs. And we don't want to look at them. Yeah, it loops. Our friends who have suffered because of us. Can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sunny? What's out here? Oh, it still just loops. Oh, what? Okay, I do not want to go into that just yet. I want to go to all the doors. Welcome to the penmanship. You're joining in at quite... the rough time. Again? Oh, is this what they mean? Oh, I see what... what they meant. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Omori. I thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. Um, Omori, aren't you forgetting someone? Sorry. <sighs> that feels so much better. Can't believe you came here to save me. I miss you so much. Now that you're here, I can finally go home. Lead the way, Omori. So what's gonna happen this time? I feel like we're just gonna see Basil dying over and over. You know, I think spiders are really misunderstood. They might look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening, since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. Oh my god. Rem I remember a while back, you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder just as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that the spider must have looked scary to you, but I promise that you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. <laughs> Basil, you were kind of glitching out. There's so many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello? 
Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend, Basil. I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. Uh, they're binding me. I'm probably just scaring them. There, there, spiders. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, that's the... Fear of spiders thing crawling up on me. I thought I was no longer afraid of spiders. I guess that's no longer the case. Oh my god, Basil! There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Please. Help. <laughs> Please get me out of here. Hidden yourself away again. Hopes, dreams, aspirations. Do they mean nothing to you? Oh boy. What else can really happen here, I wonder? This doesn't seem so bad, actually. Just very empty. This reminds me of Narnia a little bit with the light post. Welcome to the penmanship. I miss you, Sonny. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. My problems, my hopes, my dreams. You know them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. Mm. All right, hands, get me out of here. No? There. <sighs> Starting to get a little bit difficult to find the doors. Okay. That's not disturbing at all. Let's just get the key. Okay, please take me away from here. Thank you. Am I out of doors? Was that all of them? No, there's still more doors. Took a nice nap. Oh, then that vanished. Can I take another nap? Took a nice nap. Is anything... No, nothing changes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, Omori. Is it really you? 
How did you find me? Are Gail, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Omori. Oh, good lord. Cat. Toy. Toy. Book. Toy. Game. Toy. Toy. TV. Game. Toast. Okay. Is that an elevator? Yeah, it is. An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. <laughs> Maybe it can take us back home. Oh, do they actually give us the option? Um... Where would I want to go? <sighs> Probably the vast forest. I don't like the sound of that. Actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you, Omori? We're not gonna find out what it is. Oh my god. Uh, uh, hold on, Omori. I, I think I'm stuck. Uh, could you help me out? I kind of saw that coming. I got a Final Destination 2 vibe coming, and uh, it was not wrong. It's... Considering how much Basil, like... Does Sunny, like, hate Basil? No, that can't be it. He, he, he dove in after him and saved him when he fell into the lake. Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Sonny. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting, and I want to cover my face and hide. There are so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just waited for so long for you to come back, Sonny. But you never did. An empty fishbowl. Maybe that's why it's so difficult, because Sonny shut himself off from the world. Basil didn't. And just had to see everybody suffer around him, and that must have gotten to him really badly. Whereas Sonny just... I guess maybe Basil sees it as Sonny running away running away from reality. 
Maybe Basil re Basil resents Sunny? And him moving is just further twisting that knife. He's not only shutting himself off, he's moving to a brand new city, a brand new place where none of the memories are left, leaving all the others to be in in that kind of environment, that city, that place where they grew up and a tragedy happened. Some... I remember that. I remember seeing that during the spider nightmare. Whatever that is. How do I get out of here? Is that all of them? No. There's, oh god, there's still so many left. We've been here already. Oh. Now it's cut down. <sighs> Again. Omori. Psst. Omori. I'm right here. Ta-da. Surprised to see me. I've been hiding out in this dump since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you would come to see me, Omori. And I'm sure we'll be able to make it out of this place, now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? This reminds me of like. No, never mind. I'm thinking silly things. Amori, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. But. At least we have each other. <laughs> Actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Mm, I'm worried he's gonna be gone. He's gonna be gone, isn't he? He's gonna be gone. I'm calling it. He's gone. Yeah. Oh, that's worse than I thought it was. I just wanted to see if you could. Is this just it? It's just a heartbeat? I didn't actually think it would let me do this. I just wanted to see if it, there was any comment about it when I spoke to it and it just... Am I stuck here? It's just a whole thing again. Huh. Okay, can I get out of here now? <sighs> okay. I wonder how many are left. Jesus, okay. Okay. Oh, I should not have picked that up.
Was that all of them? All I see is like Omori getting more and more bloody and corrupted. I can barely see anything. What the hell? That is terrifying. Ah, uh, okay. I should probably have done all those mirrors before I picked up the key. Where have I heard this sound before? Yeah, it's a phone. For as long yet, for so long, you kept the truth shut out. But something made it slip. And the hole that it made, it won't stop spreading until you find the root of it all. The one that has seen the truth, will you still give me? Will you still... Will you guide me to him, Sonny? Oh no! Ah, dang it! Oh, I should have picked that up. I need to stop picking up the keys. Oh, I need to stop picking up the keys. Mari is here. Aubrey is here. Kel is here. Basil is here. Hero is here. What's supposed to do it. Mm, oh, there's a key here. I don't think there's much else here. Um, oh, boy. Okay. A little bit better, but I'm not trusting in the slightest. Omori, you're here. Oh, I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. I can't speak with anything, so maybe I should just stop trying. The whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped me keep my hopes up. I feel like there are some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kell, and Hero, anyway? I hope you all didn't worry too much about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. Hero? Is that you? Omori, oh, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was already here. I do not trust this one bit. Uh, why are you running ahead? Oh my god, the cat. 
Kel, Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait. What? What are you guys doing? Oh my god. Omori? <sighs> okay. That might have been the worst one so far. Oh my god, the portrait. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hi, Omori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Cal and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You wouldn't think they would get tired of it after a while, but they're both just so full of energy. I just pick up the key like nothing. Kinda wanna save here. Okay, so where's the last doors? There has to be more. Oh my god, can the bots please go away? I think that might have been the last door. Yeah, I think those are all of them. Let me just double check. Looking forward to what's behind this door. A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. Ah, a hard frozen steak. Would you like to eat some? Sure, why the heck not? No thanks. Uh, okay. Am I? I think that's the last key. I'm worried. Is this gonna be a boss fight? Is this the church? Yeah, it's the church. Am I going to have to deal with a funeral? Pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh my god. Thank you for the super chat. I, re I remember that shape. I've seen that around Basil twice now. Sunny, the truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time, we can face it together. didn't end up like this. Sunny. I'm so sorry. 
Will you forgive me, my best friend? <sighs> I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. The reason I'm thinking that is because... Hear me out. From what we've been hearing, this is not the first time that this has happened. Like, Omori has... Or Sunny has, like, been doing this to, like, a fictional Basil over and over again trying to save and then subsequently having him die. So Basil does need saving, but I don't think it's this Basil they're talking about. I think they're talking about the real Basil, not this one. So if I say yes to this, is this yes to the real Basil or the one that it's fake? I'm worried I'm going to get a bad ending or something, or if I'm going to ruin anything if I say no, because this might just be me talking out of my ass. Uh, oh well, I saved. I can reload in case I mess something up. Hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the penmanship. Oh my god, one moment. Sorry about that. There's something out there. It's calling me. It's calling you too. Let's go together. Does he have red eyes? Oh my god, your face? Hello? There's no light bulb here. Oh, I don't like the soundtrack whatsoever. only imagine what is at the end of this. I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend? Please. It hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop! Please, tell them to stop! Help me! Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not in con- I'm not moving. I'm not in control. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I feel like I messed up. <sighs> oh, 
Ah, this is a bad ending, isn't it? Let me guess, that's the end. Oh, no, never mind. I hear the piano and Hero isn't here. Cal is snoring away. Out of morbid curiosity. Uh, okay. I'm willing to bet a hero is the one playing. You know, waltzes always were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano. All that practicing. Playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at that last recital. Did you want to play play it with did you want to play it with me now? Whoa, you scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for br bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me, too. I still think about her every day. I just... don't understand why she chose to leave us. The way she did. <laughs> But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Sorry. Oh, Mari. <sighs> He's crying, isn't he? He's putting on that strong, stoic facade for the sake of everybody around him. <sighs> Poor hero. I wish I could give it. All of these guys a hug. Oh, no, Sonny doesn't want to go back in. Wait, what? 
This wasn't here before. There's nothing here. It said that before. I checked here before because Hero was talking about, like, some other room that was here. And it just said it was nothing here. And I always thought that was weird. It's just something that Sonny doesn't want to remember even more than this. Because here he just refuses to go in. This just straight up wasn't here before. Kale is still sleeping. Maybe it's Mari's room. Very comfortable, Ben. Is going to sleep really the best idea to do right now? Let me check something first. Let me check something. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Toys long forgotten, discolored by weather. <sighs> yeah, of course. Of course he wouldn't want to get close. Of course he wouldn't want to see that. long shot, but I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that's what I figured. Just the only thing I can do is go back to bed. One day left. We're not going back to headspace? You have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. The moors will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. <laughs> Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores that Mom gave you, so I finished them all. Good boy! Thank you, hero. Hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. Was he wearing an apron? Was he? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just check this first. Grand piano. Sonny is more and more okay with going into this room now. It's, it's freaking gone! It's gone! Yeah, I figured. Frickin' bacon! It's empty, though. Top of the morning, Sonny! <laughs> you better... Mm, start eating before I finish it all! I already made most of the bacon, though. He is wearing an apron! <laughs> Hi, Vox! No bacon? Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> Ping pong. Mmm. Who could that be? I'll go get the door. What 
to solve this? What the heck, Cal? Who is that? Huh? What's going on over there? Dang it, Cal. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Mm. I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering her door. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, I'm terribly sorry to do this right now. I really need to use the bathroom because I've been drinking so much water. So, like, please excuse me for just a little bit. And we'll get right back to this. Okay, I'll, I'll be as fast as I can. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry it took a while. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we love a hydrated king. That scared me so much. I'm sorry, Vox. <laughs> I just went... Did a, did a little bit of a... Cindy, thank you very much for the super chat. I am back from a busy day. I'm so glad that you're still alive. This is the best comfort uh, after a tiring day. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, but um, there's some pretty heavy stuff going on here. So I don't know if it'll still count as comfort, but if, I'll leave that up to you. Just be very mindful of the content warnings that do come with this game. Hmm... Uh, 
Okay. Let's continue this. I am very afraid, very concerned. If Aubrey is not answering her door. Okay, let's get back to this. Or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Cal. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but that doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. <laughs> That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. <laughs> Thanks, Kill. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. <laughs> you're a good friend. Uh, huh? Uh, sh sure, whatever. <laughs> Why don't you head out first? <laughs> we'll meet you there. Oh, okay then. See ya. She still had egg on her. <laughs> Yo, Sunny. Thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Of course I want a high five. Oh, I got an achievement called Down Low. Mm. Also, did Kim get flustered at Hero because she thinks that Hero's handsome? If that's the case, then that's adorable. <laughs> okay, Aubrey lives down here, if I remember correctly. Don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. <sighs> Aubrey isn't feeling well? How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must track him down at once. Aubrey was supposed to watch the new dance I made out today. You think she's avoiding me on purpose? Oh, they don't have much more to say, huh? Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She, she always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, <laughs> looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Welcome to the penmanship. <sighs> I had a feeling that this was going to be the case. Still, nonetheless, incredibly disappointing to see. <sighs> Her 
room is just an attic. Really? Hey, Aubrey. How are you feeling? Oh, no. What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I've been hearing some things. But I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? <laughs> Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one who's going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil, and everyone here, you are my best friends. <laughs> all right, all right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. I freaking knew it. I knew it. I knew she took them. It was either she took them or Basil had t taken them. They're... They're all I have left of her. But you know, it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing. Uh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey... Let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Mira took the photo album from me. Oh no. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Don't hit me with Mari's theme like that. It's how Sunny has photographic memory. Where does this go? There we are. Put that there. Where does this belong? Oh, quite. There's a lot more pages. this supposed to be? Okay. Put that there. I want to put everything together before I start reading the photos.
Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. I thought I thought I messed it up. There's a photo missing. I wonder why there's a photo missing. Okay. My first photo, it's my best friend Sunny, trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. Based! Can I see some strawberries? I need some happiness. I need some levity. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. so lucky. This year is looking to be a good year. Another group photo. It was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari brought me this photo album, and everyone else bought me a cam- bought me film for my camera. Try my best to use it all. This is Cal being Cal. So many party hats. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. I don't know if I said this in the past, but I think me and Sonny are kind of, kind of similar in that regard. I, don't, I really don't mind if people vent to me. If I'm, offer, uh, if I'm able to offer a shoulder to lean on, to cry on, or just an ear to listen, not necessarily to give advice back, but just so that people feel that they aren't throwing their words out in the void. You know, I like being that person, and I really don't mind it. Oh, Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might, might be kind of mad if he saw it. Here and Mari washing the dishes from breakfast. We're staying over with Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Cal says there's a secret, there's a secret lake be uh, area behind some of the bushes, so we're all going to check it out. We're back from the park, but Cal is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry, Cal. <laughs> Better luck next time. Welcome to the penmanship. Or, I guess, a renewed penmanship. Because I see that you have one of the golden nibs. Or, is it nibs? Nibs or nubs? One or the other. Kel was feeling a little bit sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night. So Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny, Sunny stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. 
already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Maria at our secret lake spot. Maria wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Oh, look at all of them. They even have Hector there. Hmm. Oh. There's like a little bit of a patch on this one. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep, except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. I caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my, cam got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Oh no, YouTube? Are we doing okay? Susan! Are we back? Are we good? Are we Gucci? If we're good, can I get a one in chat? Okay, that's a lot of ones. Okay, good. Welcome back, everyone. Minna <laughs> Okairi. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. Right, she's a perfectionist. I guess that the sound keeps cutting off? Really? That's so weird. Huh. That's so weird. Everything is fine on my end. Sound is okay for me? Okay, so it's fine for Vox. Quali- Mmm. Try- uh, Okay, everyone, try- If you're experiencing troubles, try refreshing the page. If that doesn't work, then it might be that YouTube is having, like, a bit of struggles in, um, in your region. Finally, golden penmanship. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, dang it, Susan. Oh, well. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off. But Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks flower crowns really suit me. Sunny must have thought so as well, otherwise you wouldn't have worn one in headspace. Maybe just a flower is okay. Here is still making his flower crown. It's taking him in a while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel's were getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school today, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. Mari bought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hiro got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. <laughs> banana. This is so cute. I'm surprised I'm not getting as emotional as I thought I would. This is just kind of really sweet. There it is. There it is. I was wondering. All of our shoes in a circle. 
Can you guess whose shoes are whose? Let's see. Ba bottom, uh, bottom is basil. Uh, right is Aubrey, maybe. Uh, right corner is Kel. Top is Sunny. Left, left corner is Mari, and left is Hero. Maybe. That's what I'm guessing, at least. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Cal cooling off with some refreshing orange gel. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Cal is known to spill his drinks. Yeah, he is. I love this picture so much. We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, and he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess we'll keep him company until then. I actually saw somebody that drew me in this picture. Me being buried in the sand and just enjoying myself. It was very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much to, to her, whoever did that. I'm sorry that your name escapes me at the moment. Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun, since I get sunburned really easily. Hmm, I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Oh, That's so cute. Hero sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. I love love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living for this. Oh, it's so cute. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Yay, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are all in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Thank you for the super chat. Kiss, kiss, fall in love, indeed. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food, uh, food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny's there, too. He looks kind of sleepy. Mari says this beetle is a gi giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Here is too grossed out to look. Aww. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took the picture of himself by, uh, on accident, but I don't believe him. Is this the treehouse? Look at the toaster. Look at that plush. It's, it's that, yeah, and, and the calendar, too. It's the cat. It's that room, the very first room that we went into, the neighbor's room. It was the treehouse all along. Mm -hmm. All of us hanging out in our brand new treehouse. Looks like Sonny is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. Oh, Space Boyfriend! We went to Hobbies to uh, read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's gotten, gotten so into it now. I'm sure, I'm sure it's all 
anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. I'm playing cards with Kel, Hira, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mari's baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Hold on. I have a cookie as well. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Ah. Uh... Is it a smart cookie? Sure. It is a smart cookie. Oh. I believe that was actually my last maple cookie. Ah. Looks like I have the winning hand, <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Hmm. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Hmm. Sorry. I had some stuff stuck around my mouth. <laughs> I had to get it. Mari practicing her part for the big recital next month. We're all going to go to watch. It's going to be Mari and Sunny's first performance together. I know they'll do just fine. We'll all be showing our support from the audience. Mari's getting a little camera shy because she made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari. Just keep going. No one will notice. Mm. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mari for a recital practice. <laughs> they're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mari. Go, Sunny. You can do it. <sighs> but they never got the chance, did they? I really wonder what this missing picture is. There. Now everything is back where it should be. Looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? Uh, we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, guess we really did. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, not now, Hero. It's so embarrassing. I I'm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> all we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey? Knowing everything I heard from Cal, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. 
Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now, let's get you out of this house. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm happy. Aw. Aubrey's Ben. Really? No comments, Sonny? Bun Bun. Is that why there's so many bunnies in Headspace? Because Aubrey has a bunny? A side table is being used to cover up a hole in the wall. An empty cork board. This is where Aubrey kept the photos of Mari. I take it you have nothing to say? Yeah, of course not. Yo, Aubrey. You okay? Hey, Kim. I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys! Guys! Aubrey's here! Yo, Aubrey. You still feeling any better? Are, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to uh, do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Yeah, it's no biggie. We're just glad that you're all right. Right, Charlie? Hmm. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out th at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. Well, I'll hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, okay. We'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting for too long. I can't read. <laughs> you know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Mmm. -hmm. Everything is working out, but I can't help but something terrible is going to happen. Actually, I'm curious. Yo, you excited for the party tonight? We'll see you there. Uh, I had no idea there was a party. Good job, Mincy. You keep at it. Oh, Hero doesn't say no this time. Hero doesn't say no this time. I've only been here with Sunny and Cal. Our dearest Mari. The sun shined brighter when she was here. This grape could use some flowers. Want to leave flowers? Yes! I know exactly where we are going. I know where we are going. We're gonna get some freaking flowers. I will work part-time if I have to. I do not care. We're gonna get some flowers. <laughs> Got you, fam. Thank you. <laughs> Flowers. Okay. Hold on a second. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No. No. Not this one. What? You're buying soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew. You still drink Orange Joe? 
It's so grossly sweet. It's like it was made for babies. Oh yeah? If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per, uh, caffeine per can? Do your research, Aubrey. Huh. Whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who still buys this crap. <laughs> now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? I'll show you. Kel? What are you doing? Kel oh, oh, you do not. Kel, you don't do that. Khan, thank you very much. So glad you like the fan art I draw for you. It's actually a cute moment from Mamori. Thank you for remembering it. Hope you have a nice day, Aiki. Oh, Kun, you were the one who drew it. Thank you so much. It was really cute. Thank you so much for drawing it. Hey, this cast design is, design is from like five years ago. And it's expired? I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend, Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Oh my god, Kel. Thank you very much for the super chat. Mmm, delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. I did not buy that that was delicious at all. Did you see his face? That was not delicious. Also, no chance in hell that he's paying her back. Maybe he can use the 20 bucks that is in his closet. Welcome to the penmanship. The fact that somebody called Sunny just joined the membership, I think it's kind of appropriate. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I got an achievement called When She Was Here. <sighs> hey, Mari. It's me again. Sunny, Kel, and Hero are with me this time. Do you... Visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although on some days, some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero? How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... really sorry. Hero. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah. We're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here. This is for you, Mari. From all of us. Please. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Oh my god, I've been crying so much. 
during this stupid game. Ah, uh, God, I'm such a wimp. He even has Barry's theme as well. <sighs> I don't know why, I just... There's not even any dialogue, but... Part of me doesn't want to exit the scene. I feel like this is the most together and at peace we've had things in the real world you know wait is Aubrey sneaking glances at Sunny does she still like him yeah she is does she still like him oh that's so cute welcome to the penmanship you joined at a very emotional time <laughs> Very cute. Okay, let's not dwell here for too long. Lily of the Valley. They are said to be able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. A white egret orchid in the language of flowers symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Thank you for the super chats and thank you for the pets. Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Way to ruin the moment, Gramps. Uh, I gotta wipe my face again. Ah! This freaking game. Thank you for the super chats. The game and you are all fine. Thank you. Lead us to this place. Oh no, I can't stop crying. I'm sorry. And I don't mean to be a crybaby. <laughs> Can we... Go to the hiding spawn? Virtual hugs. Yeah, virtual hugs for everybody. Oh. The orange cat looks hungry. I don't have any fish though. I'm sorry. Oh, my heart stopped for a second. There's another one here. It's okay, we're all crying with you too. I'm sorry. And the moment I said that, my chat crashed again. Love it that it happened three times. Let's do, it, do this again, shall we? I'll come back. I wonder if I'll ever find a way to make it not do that. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Aw. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Cal? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Aww. <sighs> yeah. I guess we are. This game is so nice. Cry and cry many times already. Yeah, me too. Huh. Isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means that you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid, even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. <laughs> Ugh. You're such an idiot. Hmm. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Aw, look at him. The gang's all here. What, what are their skills, actually? Home run and guard. First aid and guard. Wait, can I swap? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. What was the button to swap again? I don't remember. Oh, maybe I can't do it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, that would have been cool. A. Yeah, I'm pressing A. Nothing's happening. Unfortunate. Ooh! Look at that. Looky, looky. There's more trash. Is this Hector? Yeah, it is. Bark, 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 bark. Good boy, is I? Yes. Oh my god, I want to get the trash. Let me get the trash. <gasps> something here. Aww. Hey, Sonny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though, I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I... think I was the one who should have been there for you. I don't know if we ever really get... I don't know if we'll ever really get over Mari's death. But I think it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. A anyway, I just wanted you to know. That I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but... I think you're looking a little pale. And kind of thin, too. After you move... Promise you'll go outside more often, okay? Mmm. Oh, there's the recycletists are gone. Slack just made a noise. Hmm. Let's exchange some trash. Hey, nine bucks. Let's go. Uh, there go the bots again. Oh, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> really? That was you, Vox? <laughs> um, is there anything else that I'm missing? Maybe. Now, now that we're Almost the whole gang. I kind of want to go and check over here. Well. Mm. No, wait, 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 wait. There was something there. Let's read some comics. Look at him. Oh my god. Cal! <laughs> Aubrey! Hmm? How sweet. Can they go on a pizza date? 
Yes, they can. Man, going to have pizza with friends are the freaking greatest. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, Kel. I'm usually not a, the greatest fan of, like, pizza chains. Uh, because I think that, like, individual pizzerias tend to be a little bit better. But if I had to pick one, and I'm gonna get clowned on this because I've gotten clowned on this in the past. Out of all the ones I've been to, like, and a lot of people are usually a big fan of Domino's. I'm not the greatest fan of Domino's. If I had to pick, I had to pick Pizza Pizza. I really like Pizza Pizza. And well, did Kel eat all of it? Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, pizza, pizza. Pizzerias? <laughs> okay, I need... I'm artists, meme makers, I beg of you. I need you to make pizzerias a thing. You gotta make pizzerias a thing. <laughs> That's so good. Hmm, nothing here. Nothing here we can do. Nothing here. Bakery. Nothing here either. Anything over here, maybe? I wonder why we're allowed to run around inside this store of all places. Hello. Here, this is for you. Flower clip, thank you. <laughs> Ayo, I'm about to hit hit up hit up Yaminos. What do you want? We have pizzerias and Yaminos. Yaminos, I love that. Who needs Dominos when you have Yaminos? Okay, I think I've checked everything now. If I open a pizza place, I'll go for Pizza Akuma and make sure everything is super spicy. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. I don't think I've ever had spicy pizza. Okay, Basil's house was here, right? Yeah, it is. I douse every pizza in chili oil. It's so good. Hmm. I'm bad with spice, but eh, I'll, I'll give it a try one time. You try caviar toast. It's the least I can do. <laughs> McEveland. I, I don't even. I don't think that works. I don't even know how you would like make a pun on my name and uh, a fast food chain. Not really a whole lot of Ike or Evelyn's. Pizza Akuma, Yaminos, and P uh, Pizzerias. Instead of KFC, is IKE. Okay, that's not that's not terrible. IKE. Okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Oh my god. I-K-E, guys. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We're getting distracted. Um, hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? Oh, 
Oh, Ike guys. <laughs> Instead of five guys, it's Ike guys, burgers and fries. I like it. I'll take it. We were wondering if we could come hang out with him today. Oh, hello everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He is in the hospital. Okay. That, why is he in the hospital? What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to the intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends, we're supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Mm, yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See ya, Polly. Okay, see you. Oh my god, the pun on Aldi in the supermarket. Well, I guess we have we just have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay with just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote something indoors. It's way too hot today. <laughs> sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And, th and then later when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how, we, how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lay the way, Sonny. Okay. Man, nobody's home in this town. Was there anything over here or am I being silly? Yeah, it was just like small bone. We already did our hanging out though, so... Uh, maybe we should just like head back. I think we did everything. Miwo? Where did you go, Miwo? It looks like the sun is about to set. Do you want to go see the treehouse now, Sunny? Oh, not yet. Mm -hmm. And this was the room, right? Yeah. What? Oh, there's a spider. Why does he look like Pluto? <laughs> What's wrong, Hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Don't worry, Hero, I got you. Now, where's that pesky little... Aha! I got you now! Oh my god, the sound effect. <laughs> it's alright now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider is gone. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm gonna go flush it down the toilet now, okay? 
<laughs> and I'm back. But the spider is gone. It's like magic. Hero, you okay now? Hero? Whew. Thank goodness. Nero, I feel like your fear of spider has gotten worse. Should really work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? <gasps> you you really think that could happen? Man, Hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like I'm the big brother. That was brilliant. I'm so glad that we get to see that. Oh, they're gaming. Hmm. How sweet. I still don't want to take them. I feel bad. Okay, maybe now we can go check out the treehouse. He owed you, though? Water under the bridge. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all of that, I'm relieved that we're still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So we can face this together. <sighs> it's okay, hero. I'll go first. Hey, Sonny, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you kind of... Aubrey! Sonny! Are you guys coming? Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, come on. Could have at the very least, like, say something like stay in touch or anything along those lines. Here we go. What is it that you're so afraid of, Sonny? Oh yeah, this, I remember. This is where I'm all right. Yeah, it is. I really part of me really wants to know why. But I'm, like I told you before, I am grateful that the game has been keeping it somewhat realistic. As in, you don't always get to know why. And it sucks, but that's how it is in reality. It 
feels like forever ago. I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah. You were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but... When we came home in the evening... Hmm... <sighs> Maybe it was her perfectionism thing. Like a lot of pressure. Who knows, really. I can only sit here and theorize. Even after all this time, I... I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Guys, let's, uh, let's keep going. Here it is. We've only seen this in black space, so I wonder what it actually looks like. It's definitely seen better days, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoops. Um Quinky Dink. <laughs> I'm not hero, guys. Wow, this place has seen better days. Come on, looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. That was the best of card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. I think I just stepped on a jack. Ugh. Man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? A photo of someone familiar? the toy box key in your pocket. What? Hey, look. Sunny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the album? That must be it. <laughs> You're right, Kel. Take out your uh, take out your photo album, Sunny. We should add it in. The photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero.
The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sunny? Let's start from the beginning. Okay, we, we went through this earlier, so I just want to check. The new one. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Sonny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's see. Just kill. That's Aubrey, I think. Um, uh, Hero, Sunny. And then Mari is in the window, I think. And then Basil's taking the picture. her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us. Back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah. You're right. She would be. <sighs> if only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Baseball bat. Mari used to play softball, but she quit when she injured her knee. That's made from pe paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. A yo yo. You only knew how- you only knew how to walk the dog. I used to know that. Kale's old shoes. You ever got his stuff at your house frequently? An old TV. Kale brought it up here, but was pretty bummed out when he found- I don't think he couldn't use it. Here's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. A calendar. The date of the recital has passed. Can't pick up the playing cards. Oh, you know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize that I was the one pushing everyone away. In a few months, in the few months after Mari died, everything changed, changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Cal made a bunch of friends for playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry. How life kept moving on. I felt like everybody abandoned me. And abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sunny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I, c 
couldn't believe it. It even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album, started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did. And I was the one who was angry at him. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <sighs> hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things work worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Cal. But I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone is here now. So it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the album. There's no trace of any of the black marks that you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, count me in! Wait just a second! Ready or not, here we come! <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. We should go and see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him. And I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. Hi, <laughs> Shoto. Made it in time. Uh. A pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Ah. Uh. Uh. Let's go see Basil, shall we? I want the whole gang to be here. Oh no, that was his grandma. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, I hope he's okay. Please be okay. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Oh no. Well... 
Basil is back home, but... He's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked his door. I haven't been able to get a single word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone. But... I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try and talk to him? Of course! We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Basil has been all by, uh, ba ba Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care much about him. Please be okay. Hi, Basil. It's it's Hero. I'm here with Cal, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh no. We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way that I've been treating you. Can we please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! <laughs> All this is happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. <sighs> hmm. When do you get to the couch? Well, duh. It's because I call it first. Oh my god. Ow, that hurts! I'm really worried. Thank you for the super chat. I can quildrum big hug. Big hug for everybody in chat. Big hug. Oh, the way that Sunny just kind of sits there. Look at while Hero is talking. Oh boy. Hey, Sunny. 
I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving, moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. <sighs> That's so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Here is always such a big softie. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. It's been so busy with school and studying. I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll we'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softie now. Hm. But yeah, it's true. And I will always be there for each other. Just like how I know that Marty's still here with us now, too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Um, man, I'm getting sleepy. What the? Is he asleep already? <laughs> sure seems like it. Yep, that's Gal for you. That's part of him that hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you do for doing this for us. And hey, tomorrow's your big day. I hope you're not worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you've got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. That is very true. Very wise words, I think that all of us could take to heart. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something? <laughs> yeah. Then we can all go... Go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Huh. That sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. He's just snoozing away. Hmm... Come on, guys. Sound sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Cal. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. Aww. Wait, Aubrey's on the couch. <laughs> did did Kel concede and surrender the couch to her? Aww. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? My best friend. <sighs> He's not okay. Please. Wait. What? Sunny is in white space? Oh. 
I see what's going on here. A tissue box. A sketchbook. Nothing but static. Amori. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. <sighs> so now it happens, huh? Like the coral told us about. Okay. Let's see what it is that you have sealed away so dearly. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. Ah, oh, crap. Just gotta keep calming down. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. Something taunts Sunny as he falls. Okay, stay calm. Can I do something against you? No. Yeah, did nothing. I expected that. Spider? Yeah, it's the spider. Calm down. Come on, you got this. We got this, we got this. <sighs> Come on, Sonny. Come on, you got this. I see you guys holding hands. It's very sweet. And that's the lassophobia. Just calm down. And persist. Mm, there. You got this. What is that? Calm down. Something sways in the wind. Focus. Something sways. You feel like your life is in danger. 
persist. Was Sunny the one who found her? Your lungs tighten up. to bet Sunny was the one who found Mari. Your heart beats out of your chest. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Breathing begin to steady. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Calm down. There you go, there you go. Come on, Sonny. You hear your heart begin to steady. That's it. Come on. Come on, Sonny. <sighs> and gather all your courage and learn to overcome. the tree, isn't it? Fight Basil? Is that why I get get to save here? Basil's meadow. Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. If you can, please, forgive me. That Basil's photo of him? What? Can't open it though. Okay. you as well. Oh, I remember this. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. What? What even is this? So? 
I assume I'm gonna have to like collect all of them and put them in order. I see four kids climbing a ladder to space. I see five kids having a picnic. I see four kids riding an elevator. I see four kids talking to a whale. What? I see three kids and one toast. You see four kids talking to a giant statue. You see four kids playing in the forest. You see four kids riding a minecart. This person is breathing steadily. What is this? Hospital? are empty. Were they always empty? No! The beds are emptying. People dying? Looks like sunny. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Can sort of guess where they go. There's <sighs> the second one. There. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Person is not breathing. This again? How many times are we going to have to go down a long staircase? Why is Sunny covered in blood? He's starting to look like Omori looked like in black space during that one section. <sighs> My head is going wild right now and I don't like it. and it's not breathing. I don't think these are literal photographs. I thought they were at first, but this looks like it's seen from Basil's eyes because we saw him in a reflection and he can't be holding a camera. He's using both of his hands. Sonny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Keep hearing that phrase. Is Basil the one who said that?
Something's preventing you from getting any closer. Oh my god! Look at the floorboards. They're distorted. There are probably tears in his eyes. This is really hurting Sonny, isn't it? Is violin? Oh my god. Get it now. Oh no, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no. I want to be wrong so desperately. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh no. Is this what I'm going to use the light bulb for? <sighs> Why are you just... What? The air feels nice here. The fact that it asks me this makes me incredibly scared. Is how Sonny sees himself? He thinks that he's a monster. <sighs> really, game? You're gonna make me do this now?
did you guys do? I know this is kind of late at this point, but please, for the love of God, refer to the content warnings. I said earlier that I liked how the game didn't tell us much about what or why why Mari did what she did and I was happy because it was mimicking real life even though it stings this is so much worse Thanks for the kind words, guys. I really appreciate it. Show me. Some basil hear something. The sound of the violin smashing, perhaps. Mari is scolding Sunny. So maybe Sunny did that on purpose? Because he didn't want to play? Or maybe Mari wanted to practice more because she's a perfectionist. He was sick of it and didn't want to. They got into a fight. And in the midst of everything, Sunny pushes her down the stairs. She probably hit her head really hard or landed on top of the violin, who knows. gravity of the situation starts setting in. Basil saw everything, I guess. As they carry her up the stairs. Put her on bed. This person is not breathing, I guess, was referring to this when we saw Mari in that bed next to Sunny. Maybe they shared the same room. And uh, I guess they're waiting for her to wake up. And then she doesn't. She doesn't wake up. And then that starts setting in. I guess Sunny is completely shut down. She doesn't know what to do. 
Basil is trying to like shake some sense into him. And they carry her down. Basil's still terrified. I, I don't know why he is going along with this. Then again, these these kids are like what twelve. Like what 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 are they what are they supposed to do? They can't think straight in a a situation like this. And then I guess that one of them, assuming Basil, because he keeps asking for forgiveness, has an idea. idea is just makes it so so much worse <sighs> yeah and that's No, Jesus Christ, that is not the fucking time to do that. There has always been someone you could rely on. He's wise, capable, loving, and always puts others above himself. The kind of person that will always make himself available to help you, even to a fault. You will really miss him. What does that mean? has always been there for you. Even, even though he's a bit careless at times, you know he has a good heart. More than anything, he just wants everyone around him to be happy. There's always been someone you can count on to lift your spirits. You will really miss him. Aubrey has always acted true to her feelings. Even though she has trouble admitting how much she cares actions shown otherwise. She has been a little hard to understand. You can trust that she will always try her best to do the right thing. You will really miss her. I don't like the you will really miss her. Basil, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Yes. And I get it now. It's because only he and Sonny know what they did. That's why he is so terrified. I'm just happy that he's alive. So far. <sighs> oh, Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's, uh, it's so good to see you. We came to you that day, the day Mari died. When Mari, when Mari fell, you, uh, you couldn't have done it. There was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. 
That's so mean. <laughs> There's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sunny? There's no way out of this. Is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You, you can't leave me. Sunny. No. You wouldn't leave me. And that's not my cue, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Uh-huh. There it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny! I'll protect you. No matter what, Sonny, you can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think that it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything. Is going to be okay. Oh my god. Hi, Alira Senpai. Uh. Okay, we gotta calm down first. We gotta calm down. What? I tried to calm down, but your lungs forgot to breathe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? I want to run. Can I? Of course I can. Focus. 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 Oh, God. Try to focus. Nausea overwhelmed you. Spend so much time building these skills up and now they just don't work. <sighs> Sonny. There's no way out of this, is there? Come on. No. You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I don't want to fight Basil. Seriously, these are two very messed up kids that did something terrible. The last thing they need to do is attack each other. <sighs> I guess this I guess the game just wants me to do this, huh? Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this?
honey. Do you hate me? Oh, I, I, I've seen your warnings, guys. Thank you. Please, stop it. Stop struggling, Sonny. I'm... I'm so tired. <sighs> oh my god. Sonny's heart rate is going through the freaking roof right now. Wait, what does that say? Everything is going... Everything is going to be okay? Stressed out? Yeah, of course. I can't do anything. Oh my god! Oh my god. Are they using... Are they using knives? Oh my god, they're... This isn't headspace. They're actually hurting each other. Am I supposed to win this, or is this scripted? Oh, this is gonna... Oh, no. Oh, I... Please don't let this be in. Actually kill you. Why? Why won't you stop? Oh my god! Hold on, my YouTube chat crashed again. It's been doing that so many times. For some reason. Give me one moment. I'm very sorry. There we go. Hi guys, welcome back. <sighs> Where am I supposed to go? Mewo? <laughs> Wait, so what is going on now? This is a flashback? Hi, Sonny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but... I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. 
All this pain we've been feeling. The guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. And that we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close. And remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon. But only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? <sighs> Don't forget, it's in the toy box. I think I know where it is. There they are. We always had a large backyard, so it's really nice to make use of it now that there's a treehouse. Treehouse is further back, but I can still see my favorite tree. Wait, Sunny is thinking? Or like speaking in first person? Mom's flower arrangement. Mom and Mari have been taking classes recently. Sometimes they drag me along. A cactus. It was a gift from Kel's dad when we moved here. It has survived for a very long time. A regular houseplant. Nothing special about it. A shoe rack. Mom's shoes are, as, are a mess as usual. Coat rack. This is dad's hat, but I've never seen him wear it. A basket full of fruits. Mari's adamant about having fresh fruit in a house. Books that mom and dad have collected over the years. All they do is gather dust. Small drawer. Mom couldn't decide what to put here. A microwave. I've enjoyed many good meals with this. A refrigerator. Open. Leftovers again. An old toaster. Mom says that it's even older than me. An unfinished cup of coffee. Mom leaves these around whenever she's stressed. A warm fireplace. My baby picture is over, over the mantle. I don't like to smile. Not even in photos. A nice big TV. Watching Saturday morning cartoons here was the best. Basket full of baby toys. I haven't gotten around to throwing them away yet. Mari's clothes. They smell like clean laundry. Mine and Mari's school books. Mari has been coming home late because of cram school. She must be tired. A phone that mom made me put in my room. Behind it is a detailed schedule. Mari has always Mari always has everything planned out. Dad's old computer. He gave it to us when he bought himself a brand new laptop for work. A table lamp. Mari has trouble sleeping, so she reads book bu books before bed. 
have to turn off the light for her after she falls asleep. Mari's bed. Mine too, when I had nightmares. Aww. A very, very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. A wardrobe meant for clothing. These days, it's mostly full of old toys and candy. One of two old grandfather clocks. This one always seems to be running behind. Mom and Dad's bed. Mom sleeps on the left and Dad sleeps on the right. An alarm clock for responsible people. Set to be five minutes early. Yeah, I could have used one of those earlier today, couldn't I? Good kitty. 102 grandfather clocks. This one always seems to be running ahead. Mari's collection of sheet music books. Despite Mari being organized everywhere else, these music books are a mess. These hastily written notes on almost every page. Mom and Dad's collection of va uh, vacation souvenirs. I never liked vacations, but looking back, it wasn't so bad. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. And there it is. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair entangled with its strings. Good God. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood but it can still be read. Okay, where do I go now? What do I do with this? Do I just leave this place now? <sighs> what the heck? Oh, 
Oh my god, they're kids. Huh. Yes, I just got just what I needed. Oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, oh, when did you get behind me, Mari? Oh, Basil is taking a picture. I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Cal. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is this something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck, as usual. Here's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. An old toaster. He does not make toast. An old TV. Kel brought it up here, but was pretty bummed out when he found he couldn't use it. It's still just the same stuff. A calendar. Summer vacation is almost over. Look at Kel's hand. It's four and a... It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sunny. It's... It's too horrible. <sighs> I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sunny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies? Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. You look at Aubrey's hand. It's a 2, a 5, and a 10. Hmm? What do you think, Sunny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? Hmm. I guess so. You remembered. The smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better than... It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended part of itself. What is this, memory lane or something? Oh, it's the beach one. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, Hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Yeah, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Oh, look at them. Take a picture of me when I'm eating, Basil. Uh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Hey, Sunny. Did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Aw. Aubrey's so cute, isn't she? What is he doing? Ew, gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel! <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? <laughs> Ew, stop it, Aubrey! You're gonna give me cooties! Ah, uh, cooties. The age old myth. Relax and wine and enjoy. 
and plastic bag. It's functional. Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. Kel's backpack. It's way too big for him. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to sing? Yes, please. Oh, it's actually called Memory Lane. Go figure. Guys, come on. We're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bucks in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. That's evil. You were always so funny. W wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, Hero? <laughs> oh my god, they're still doing the thing. I guess I just leave? a watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended part of itself. How many of these are there? Is there gonna be one for like every photo? Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleeping after such a big meal. Thank you for baking... Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. <laughs> I'm glad you all like it. One day, you're gonna be a world-famous chef. And you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? W wait, <laughs> I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah. I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? Oh my god. Would you guys mind waiting a little bit? I need to get a water refill again. I've been doing a lot of talking. Be right back, everyone.
Hello, I'm back. <sighs> I'm gonna be so hydrated after this stream. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Oh. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone of everyone earlier. Want to see? Hmm. This could have been a, such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. What if it's magic poop? And we all know what happens if you hang around magic poop way too much. You might get... swept up to some alien shenanigans. Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Wait. Is this not covered up? Oh my god, it isn't. You can actually see it. <laughs> oh my god, I just... I, I, I'm, it's actually in the overworld, too. Oh no! Bark, bark. He's barefoot, too. Hey, Sunny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. You think I should become a chef? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Hmm, but yeah. My mom's gonna have something to say about that. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You looked so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hmm. Mari's cookies. Hmm. I didn't even do that. He just kind of sat down there on his own. There we go. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. Felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended part of itself. Oh, I remember this photo. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got a little carried away. Playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil! Basil! Take a picture of my new raincoat! Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color, Cal unbased. No, it's not, Cal. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. 
Mari and I, Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to tie, dye her hair purple. P purple? Is that why she had purple hair in Headspace? Thank you for the super chat. You want to know what color I chose? Wait, you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. I agree. Dye your hair whatever color you want. Mari thinks so, too. Hmm. <laughs> I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Absolutely! Sunny says he thinks thinks that pink is a great color. See? Even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Pfft. Whatever. What is it, Sunny? <laughs> Did you want to see the photo? Yeah, it's this photo, isn't it? You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I... maybe... sense a little crush? Oh? It's mutual? Wait a sec... Wait a second... I just realized something. Aubrey doesn't like, like, like Omori in Headspace. Because, like, it's a creation from Sunny's mind. It's because he had a crush on her and wanted Headspace Aubrey to like him. Which is why she's so head over heels. It's project. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit sad, but it's also a little bit cute. And I I I think that Aubrey also likes Sunny. There's been a few hints that there is something there. I, I, I let, let me dream, okay? Let me dream. Let me stay in my fantasy world. Let me stay in my headspace. <laughs> You feel your ears. Yes! I don't even know what noise I made there. <laughs> don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Yay, that settles it. One day, I'm gonna dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. You're in that shipper copium, I understand. Hey, it's not copium if I have things that I can add to my case. And I do. My dad is kind of strict about these things. You said you and Basil pre uh, were playing that new game, Pet Rocks? That new Pet Rocks game? Hmm. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies and check if they have any new stuff? I guess I just leave. Oh, are you going ahead, Sunny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Hmm. You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Violin mended part of itself. Uh, 
Are we doing another one of these? Oh my god, how many? Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> wow, this cake looks amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yeah. Thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Me too, Basil. Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel will get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that! Hmm, I wish. Um, what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. That's really precious. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I will wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Oh, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candle's gonna melt. How are, we, are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. Make a wish. Oh. He remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. That time, you wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended part of itself. Oh my gosh, it's raining glitter. Oh my god, another one? Uh, am I supposed to take all of these? Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. <laughs> no problem, Cal. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open your present. Oh boy. Oh my god, I remember! Remember back in Otherworld when we made our way through that forest to the barn with like a bunch of memories that just faded? One of them was a violin wrapped. Ah. Uh, I remember now. Man, they really foreshadowed this really early. This year, you get just one present. From all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but... We all had to save up to it to, for it together. Yeah! Me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me... 
I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. You know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she practices the piano. And there was even that one time where I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. But we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. Have, all have quick Christmas sweaters, too. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on, try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers. As if it, as if on its own, your body readied the violin to play. Anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. More. You remembered. The smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. You remembered. The taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. You remembered. The sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. You felt more comfortable because you knew that, no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. Sonny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we missed out on each other for the past few years. But it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless. But I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sunny. We know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you. But you have to put a little bit of trust in us, too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long. And you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them, too. There's more good times to come. 
life gets better. And you can be the one to make that happen. Oh, they became their current selves. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. And we're here for you. Because you know... Because you want us to be. And, uh... Really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sonny. Break a leg for me, alright? You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Whatever you end up choosing, we'll always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. <sighs> what wonderful friends. We believe in you, Sonny. music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Yes. Place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Yeah, I do. Not much of an audience, is there? <laughs> Stage is ready, Sonny. I hope you are as well. in? Oh no. Sunny. It's okay. It's okay to cry. Remember what your friends told you? Are we back in white space? Right. I forgot about you. Let me guess. You need to go in order for us to finish this. I figured as much. Calm down. Attacks three times. Cherish heals your wounds and come back stronger. Okay. Allegro. 
Oh, crap. Oh, boy. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Cherish. Steady your breathing, Sunny. Remember Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to support each other. Oh, I can't use it. <sighs> Come on. I'm not losing to Omori. Fifty nine, fifty, sixty two, nice. Amori did not succumb. <sighs> really, they're using that against us now? I can't use Encore? Oh, crap. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so, you've earned nothing in return. wish. I hope you can find some peace, or you know, some happiness. Encore. Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, Allegro. One, two, three. Fifty-nine. 58, 62. Okay, that's uh, 21. That's not too bad. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll all abandon you like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Omari did not succumb. Oh my goodness. Uh... One, two, three, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-one. Okay, he's getting stronger. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others. But the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. Oh, crap. Defense. Cherish. You remembered Hero's promise. Last time... We made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say that you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. I think a lot of us have that voice in our head that says similar things like that, and it sucks. So this is a little bit too real, if I'm gonna be quite honest. People like you don't deserve to live. At least he's getting weaker. People like you don't deserve to live. Amori did not succumb. Oh my god. It's 
61, 60, 60. Nice. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Oh crap, that lowers my stats again. Oh no! 46, 57, 50. You are nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you just as much as you hate yourself. Mori will not succumb. Cherish. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You killed Mari. She loved you, and you killed her. Oh, that's not good. Calm down. Okay, that hurts. Hero loved her, and you killed her. Oh my god, please just let me get one Allegro in. Okay, 32, that's fine. Aubrey loved her, and you killed her. Kel loved her. And you killed her. Calm down. Please. Basil loved her. And you killed her. Okay, that's not awful. 43. 52, 54. You loved her, and you killed her. I should cherish. You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sunny? You loved her, and you killed her. This background music is quite something. He's just repeating the same phrase over and over. Come on. Just a bit more, Sonny. Just a bit more. One, two, three. 37. 44. Crit! Nice! Mori will not succumb. Forty-four, forty, forty-five. You should just die. Oh my god! Oh, I cannot heal this. I cannot heal this. Come on! You should just die. <sighs> when was the last time I saved? Uh, I don't remember. When was the last time I saved? I saved on memory lane. Wait, what? Oh, do you want to continue? Yes. Of course. Oh, it was scripted. Never mind. Get up, Sonny. Come on.
flame. Oh, don't do this to me. Of course it was her. doesn't need a more anymore. You gotta face this, Sonny. Come on. Now what? More white space? Really? <sighs> I'm so sick of this place. Uh Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at him. Sunny. Oh, yeah, he's finally letting himself feel things. I'm so proud of him. It takes a lot to forego being numb to everything. Flowers from Kel and Hero's family and Aubrey. Sending a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sonny. Flowers from Shopkeep. Yo, Sonny. Sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome in hobbies. Get well gift from Kim and Vance's mom. Get well, get well soon, Sonny. 
Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. Nothing but static. A get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Tissue dai. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Get well s Get well soon, Sunny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. I should follow them, huh? No. No, I shouldn't. I should go this way. We don't need headspace. We don't need it. It doesn't need us. What we do need is our real friends. And they also need us. But oh my god, do they have a lot of talk. I have to tell you something. <sighs> oh my god. Ugh. What a ride. Christ almighty. <laughs> no, it even has a song. Cool. Well done, lad. Thank you, Vox. And thanks for recommending me this game. Thanks to everybody who recommended me this game. It was really right up my alley. Midori, thank you very much. Group hugs, Aiki and everyone. Group hugs, indeed. Aiku-kun, steki na haishin o kyo mo arigato. Omori wa honto ni watashi ga daisuki na game de roku... roku shu ka na? Roku shu mo play shimashita. I love you so much. I thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed the playthrough. Congrats on finishing the game. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. I very much enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for coming and for going on this long journey with me. Crying my eyes out. Thank you very much for the experience, Ike. No problem. Thank you for sharing it with me. Otsu and thank you. Thank you. You did well, Ike, and thank you for playing this game. Oh, special- I love when they do that. Special thanks, you. Achievement unlocked. One more day. What? Oh. Okay, that's... I got really scared for a second. Thank you for playing. Thank you 
to Omokat and all the people who had a part of making this incredible game. It was truly an experience to remember. You did so well, and this game was very heavy, but so worth it. Glad you enjoyed the ride. Big hugs to all. Thanks. Thank you for bringing, uh, for bringing this and, this and the company. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for this. You did so well. Thank you, Yusa. Thank you for playing this amazing game. I guess this is a happy ending. As happy as it could be, probably. Thanks for the stream. This game is amazing. Made me cry a lot at times. So thank you. Same here. Ah. Thanks for the endurance of Mori stream. Love the moment we laughed and cried together. Thank you. Kuria uh, Omedetou. I love this game and I could feel your care in playing it and voice acting. Hontoni, itsumo arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for coming. Uh, Kiko, thank you very much. Thank you for streaming on Mori and everyone here. Otsukare sama deshita. I'll definitely rewatch your Mori play, uh, gameplay. Because your commentary in VA made me f really feel the game. I had a good cry. I really needed that. Thank you, Aiki. Hugs and love to you and Quildren. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this emotional roller coaster with the Quildren. Thank you for coming. Congrats on finishing Omori. It's my number one favorite game. And it was so much fun watching you uh, watching your streams. I'm glad you think so. Kuriya, omedetou gozaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. Thank you. Thank you for coming. え、愛くくんえっと、え、長時間配信お疲れ様でした。素敵なゲームと素敵なボイスで物語を紡いでくれてありがとうございます。この配信を見れて私は幸せ。幸せものです。ありがとうございます。聞いてくれて本当にありが
I will thank the Omori Super Chats at the end of that stream, if that's okay. Because my voice is really, really worn out at this point. Okay, thank you very- uh, thank you all very much. Thank you for being understanding. Uh, I feel bad for doing this at the end of the every Omori stream. But I, I want to make sure that everybody gets their proper thanks. Because genuinely, it made me so happy that so many people wanted to come along on this journey. It wouldn't have been the same without you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, this is- this is uh, one of the reasons why I joined Niji Sanji. Or one of the reasons I wanted to, at least. To be able to share things like that. Like this. With so many people. With all of you. <sighs> There's still super chats coming in. You're all so kind. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm gonna treat myself to a Borg and a little bit of rest. And prepare myself for the stream tomorrow and make sure that I don't oversleep <laughs> like I did this time. Again, terribly sorry about that. Okay, with that, I will bid you guys farewell. Thank you all so much for coming. It is time for me to sign off for today. I will see you all tomorrow with Hollow Knight. <sighs> Omori is going to stay with me for a very long time go going forward. <sighs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone.